Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BB Pools. This is currently the end of the previous pool. I believe yeah, this I is the this finals. Is probably winner's finals. I, the previous, I would imagine. I would imagine. <laughs> because it's Lich and Kid Viper, I would imagine it's winner's finals of that pool. Two amazing players, and both, both of them playing strong. new pl are, characters. Yeah. Hibiki, uh, Lich playing Hibiki, Kid Viper playing Naoto. This should be really good to watch. It, it is quite amazing. So uh, when these two characters were announced, Naoto was announced as like the simple character, and Hibiki was like the complex character. Yeah. And uh, as time has gone on, Naoto has sort of evolved into this technical monster, where his inputs for his combos are, are really this kind like of crazy. Whereas uh, Hibiki's sort of turned more of the simple character. But he has, like uh, Akihiko in Persona inputs, which like do move, dash, cancel, sway. <laughs> yeah, it, like, it, it's pretty... Yeah. Try it out for yourself in training mode if you don't believe us. But uh, yeah. getting right into it, they're both this very straightforward characters. Uh, <laughs> One thing to immediately watch out for, Naoto's fully charged D moves will guard crush if you do not barrier it. So just make sure you have that little uh, tidbit of information. Kid Viper burst really early there, which is an interesting choice in this game, because when you burst, you can't get active flow. And <laughs> active flow makes your burst come back so much faster. That is such a huge. Like, everyone. The problem is it's so new, and everyone's right. still discovering like is and, it good to burst early. They is get a lot of like their old burst habits from other games in it still, or previous plays of the games. Yeah, and uh, here we are in the corner. Lich yeah. doing some amazing pressure. Oh, cool. goes for a TRM setup. <laughs> good tech. We'll uh, we'll give a little tidbit about that after the fact. Um, All right, both of them really have cool. a lot of resources yeah, to work oh, with. Yeah. Good counter There's counter salt. Hibiki JC, one of the most and monstrous normals in this game. It hits on it's both really sides good. of it. Yeah, it's really strong. But yeah, you, you can tell like neutral for these two characters. It's fairly straightforward. They just want to get in. Uh, oh, wow, that's a big whiff. Doesn't punish it though. That could be important. It, 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 it's a bit awkward to punish because like is. he's floating, but he can still act after that in the air. Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's good to know. Yes, yes. So, so uh, okay. Hibiki's cool thing is uh, his whole mechanic is these shadows he can send out of yeah. himself. And uh, he, can he, can, he can fake it, or right. he can or be he can hiding in his own shadow. And uh, an important thing to know that I don't know if a lot of people also know is you can punch the shadows and they'll go away. Right. So it's always it's generally worth to just throw out the normal. If you get it hit, you can confirm it. Yes. And it gives him some really stylish combos. Yeah. He has some really his combos are really cool. And he has and the Azuka drop. drop. The Azuka drop so hype. All right. Let's Lich has some Lich pretty commanding some pressure. Oh, yeah. good block on the overhead. This Hibiki is looking very strong already. And if it ends... Instant super, so yeah. he had no chance to burst. That's very smart. I like that. And the first game goes to Lich. It, the important thing is, like, both these players are BB vets, so they right. they have those things they already in doing. their yeah. hands. They, like, they don't the need to think about it. The things are known, but it's, it's interesting to play the new characters. Yeah, by, bypass... Okay, so quick thing on TRM, like I said, I would talk about. In this game, if you press the throw buttons, you are locked out from checking a throw for, I believe, it's 27 frames. Uh, it's a good amount of frames. It's a good... And uh, there's a lot of hidden OSs thanks to Barrier in this game, and yeah. so basically normal grabs are fairly slow, but uh, if you run up and do jab grab on them, then if they try to tech it when you jab them, then you will grab them guaranteed, even though it's a purple throw and that gives you a ton of time to actually tech. Right. It's a layer of mix-up that like, it's really hard to tell what's going on if you're new to the game. Basically to beat the, uh, the option if they try to option select your throw before, where you would hold back and press bar like A, B, and C, which would either get you barrier or throw, depending on what they do. That is correct. And while we were talking, we're talking Lich, Lich is running a train. The, the main thing is just yeah. every single Oki, he was catching back, like, Kid Viper was being very active, but like his options were catching back dash, catching roll. Right. J JC so is Lich also is a great move at covering both forward and back roll. Yeah. Oh! That is, by Kid Viper, that is unblockable, by the way, if you are in yeah, the, the air the or standing. Kick. Yeah, the flash kick is just unblockable. Um, you can crouch it, though. Yes. Good throws. And Kid Viper putting him in the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh, the cross-up! Oh, cross Confirm this? It's going to be uh, some pretty nice damage. The most important thing, though, is the corner yeah. positioning. Overhead! It's over! Oh, that's this good. is going to be fun. huge! can't burst now. Oh my god. Oh no! Honestly, I feel like Kid Viper might have wanted to overdrive himself there. It, it's a very strong he option. Overdrive back? Yeah. Rapid? No, he doesn't have a chance. Is this it? I think this might kill. Yes, it does. <laughs> how? That did, how much damage was uh, that? Oh, 5.3. 5, 5, yeah. That was some damage. That was, that was really incredible. Good. Yeah. So, <laughs> Lich taking it. You, you can definitely tell Lich has spent a lot of time in training mode already. Yeah.
And that, uh... So, uh, uh, by the way, everyone, hello. My yeah. name's uh, Mike Muscles. I'll be one of your commentators today here for uh, these Blaze Blue Pools. And with me I is... I am um, and... Yeah, that, that's really yeah, that's it. it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, everyone, oh, if you're just tuning in, thank you so much for tuning thank in. You. Big thanks to uh, Jabaley for Jibaley putting for on putting this. On. this yeah. It is such a great production. Shout out to Last year was amazing. Yes. This year's amazing. Yeah. If you guys didn't show up, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you you have to show up next year, but you really if, should. If you like these games, this is the tournament to come to. Yes, like. yes. He has done a great job evolving all these really majors. P pop bonuses towards the it's main games. Yeah. Almost all of them, I think. I, I, yeah. Someone else has the numbers. I'm not going to put out false info right here. Yeah. Uh, I think Catherine got like $100. Blaze Blue had a $500 pop bonus, I think. It, I don't know. It might have even been 1000 Yeah, the, I, there, there is money at this tournament. It's actual money. It's nice. It, it's good to see everyone's taking it seriously. I love it. It's a wonderful location, and honestly, everyone, the weather was the like forecasted really nice. to be storms and everything. It's been nice. It's really nice. Really I mean, it's, nice. It's Florida, so it's still really hot but and humid. I think there's been really like nice. a 10 minute thunderstorm right. at most. Right. <laughs> it's been nice, though. All right. So, Bailey can up, go to sleep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Coming up, we have the beautiful dude. Ooh, Rally is. I'm not sure who his opponent is. Um, we'll find out shortly. Yeah. But uh, Rally is versus Relius. 9, Sky King. Sky King, Sky King 9, okay. All right, so uh, we're and going to see if his name is pretty apt because Nine is pretty at home. I mean, anywhere really. But uh, I don't. <laughs> her dashes in the air. You're going to see it very quickly. They're very unique in she, this game of Blaze she has, Blue. Yeah, she was, she teleports for her dash, and she can teleport a second time in, in one the, of the in main the four of directions. Yeah. And any four directions. Uh, Left, right, up, down. Which yeah. way is she going? Only they know. And meanwhile, it's really, cool. it's really weird. Relius. Is really that, uh, just wants to put you in the corner. He, it, he's got like a mobile puppet character thing going on. Yeah, it's, really, it's like, it's a different kind of puppet. It's much more like uh, like Zato in Guilty Gear. It's, it's very quick, like yeah. if we're going to compare it to Carl. Right. He's, uh, he gets in there and the, the doll just, Ignis, it's, goes places very quickly. It's much more of a JoJo's thing. Yeah. The, the big thing you're going to have to watch out for is that bar in his lower left right. above his meter. And that can tell us how long he can use the puppet for. Yes. So in, in that regard, it is similar to Carl. Which makes sense because he's Carl's dad in the story. <laughs> but we don't talk about the story. This game doesn't actually have a story. Oh! oh. Is, that, is that like the dead man's hand for Elias? It is. It makes it sense is. that Beautiful Dude would do that. Beautiful Dude has found his new home here in Blaze Blue. I think right now he's a Beautiful Dude GG on Twitter. He might have to change that now. Back to Beautiful I, I Dude BB. He said if he makes top eight, he's going to do Beautiful Dude BB. But there are stakes on the line there. Yeah. Wow. So uh, pretty well, commanding oh, round. Oh, I okay. spoke too soon. That's uh, yeah, it's a really strong opening yeah. from nine. You have to be really careful if you jump back at the beginning of nine. Yeah, against nine. She's going to showcase her big normals. She does the, have big normals. The, I think the biggest problem right now is Sky King is not really respecting the doll as much as he should. Right, he can also poke the doll, and that could give him spell stock as well. Yes. Um, and nine is an interesting character because every normal she. Uh, connects with whether it's on hit or block gives her a stock for her spells. You can see that above her meter. And for example, the rock she just dropped was one of those. Yes. So depending on the last three normals, that will determine what her D button is, and that's her spell. Yes. She does not. When they announced it, they said she doesn't have a drive button. She has a magic button, and that's what it does. So it's interesting. All right, that was Sky King first. That would probably <laughs> would have killed. Um, yeah, I'd like to jump back to get out of that. Bit of pressure. I, I feel like That's Sky King could have navigated that a bit better. He probably could have. He could have teleported. He probably could have teleported through it, actually. But yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things where Nine is still such a new character. It's it hard is. to tell, hard like, to tell. what are the limitations? What can I and cannot I do but with this? Between dashes, if you do a second dash, she is completely invulnerable. So I think he could have gone through, uh, but it would have yes. put him in a weird position because he probably would have been really close and could have got hit after the, uh, yeah, so the recovery. Yeah, Relius himself would cover it. That's a fatal. Can confirm it? No. Oh. That, it, it's hard for her to confirm at, like, that it really is. tip of her spell range. It really is. you got to, like, know and jump it. And that's... So that rush is... Minus two, so it's really hard to. Uh, it also leaves her in yeah. awkward spacing where a lot of people's fast normals will just whip. Yeah, uh, especially if you barrier. It. It's and definitely okay. something that uh, you should training goes mode. Who goes yeah. for the meteors? The meteors <laughs> are interesting because the higher up you do them, the bigger range they are. But they're also spread out. Gets them to the fatal. Gets stupid. Doesn't matter. Gets the perfect. Okay. Sky King's showing. He's done. like, all right. It's not a, You've I had your play moment. This game. He's doing that a lot. I don't know if that's. Personally, I don't like the god hand after that, but... I mean, 
Everyone's finding out their own personal yeah, it, styles. It, it works. It gives them a knockdown there, which can be nice if it confirms. And it seems to be pretty safe. So that might be what he's going for. Re Relius. Oh, Relius is going to be without Dalmeter now. There it goes. But he's out of meter. <laughs> wow. Makes the burst, though. That was good. Ju Julian yeah, is. Julian, uh, Julian doesn't need his doll. Sliver of health left. Sky King. Oh. In, in this game, bursts are very quick. Yeah. So and you really have to predict them, not react to them. And that was that's important though, because he does not have a burst for this round. He might get it back, but when you burst, you lose. It, it, it takes yeah. a long time. We haven't talked about active flow yet, which is a new mechanic <laughs> to this game. It is. It's interesting, but he can get active flow now because it is a new round. It is. It so, is a new round. And act, like active flow is basically when you're being. I don't think it's just being aggressive. But it, the it, more stuff you do, it, yes, you it, can it, get active flow. I'm honestly not 100 percent sure. There, there's like, a list of uh, commands yeah. online. It's like teching a throw gives you a lot of it. Um, landing a throw gives you more. Right. But uh, it turns out it see, did not matter. It did not. But you can see above like the burst meter behind it when it starts to flash pink. It means they're about to get active flow, and then it'll like glow Glo pink. pink the, yeah, yeah, the whole health bar. And when you're in active flow, you uh, number one regain burst much quicker. Yeah. Very important. And uh, the other, I think, big thing is uh, there's another new, again, lots of new things added in this game, really cool. If you overdrive, and then you use something called an Exceed Excel, which is an overdrive-only super for all the characters by pressing all four buttons again. If you hit that move, that will instantly put you into active flow. Yeah, if you're already in active flow, it'll do a powered up version of that super damage, yeah. that does a lot of damage. It does like twice as much. It goes. I think every super does about 2,000, and it goes to so about four 4 ish Yes. For it's every character. Very important things to know, which means that now overdrive is a very strong defensive it's very strong, and yeah. offensive option. Especially because you can overdrive out of block stun. So if you can like wake up, block, overdrive, and if they did something that like a committing move that would normally be safe because it's a block string. Uh, you can hit him out of it. Yes, so. very important to know. Yeah. And it gives you a little pause freeze frame to allow yeah, you to see. Nice. You can see what they're doing. By the way, I just wanted to say, how cool is this stage? It's pretty cool. You, you can't see all of it, but there's like, there's like figures, all yeah. Gundams I like all set all the up Gundams over here. back here, like just in the box there's still. There's a and whole wall of swag just we got the, got the Mega, to our I love left the Mega Man right. pop figures here. <laughs> you just got to have them, you know? I mean, I love Mega Man. I Mega. mean... It is debated that Marvel is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom is anime, so yeah. it might be right at home here. So uh, we're probably going to get a new match pretty soon. Hopefully. Uh, I think they're starting... That was probably the end of the pools? But that would make one. sense, yes. So they're probably starting the other, so it might take a second. Yeah. So in the meantime, you get to look at us. Uh. So uh, I, j I just want to say a big shout-out to all of... Uh, all of everyone who all of, was yeah. able to put this together, and all the sponsors. if you are interested, if you need a new stick, if you need, I mean, PS4, it, now's the time to get it. Good, yeah. Please go to uh, use the coupon code COTAKU, save $10 on any item. Any item at Quamba, Quamba or Adar. Yeah. That, and, I mean, those, the quality of those sticks those is very high. Sticks, yeah. I if you need a stick like bag, them. I mean, I, know, I see a lot of people here just carrying their sticks around, like... Yeah. Come on, save yourself the effort. No, I used I used the Quan uh, an Adark on PS3, and I really liked that stick. It was a good one. Um, I know they have the drone now, which is good for uh, for PS4. It's really small, but it's kind of nice. It, it's um, yeah. It, it, there's a lot of tech out there for sticks, and I think that the important thing is I see a lot of people out here playing with very old sticks. Like even I was playing uh, yeah. DC yesterday, okay. and his B button just broke mid match, and he was like, uh, like uh, just play on it. I'm like. Right. Don't do this to yourself. You're handicapping yourself by playing right. with right. not good materials. Like, get you have to you have to keep your stick updated. Like yeah, and you know buttons go out. It happens all the time. Uh, I know Danya Hosey also had her right button on her hitbox go out in the middle of a match too. That is a <laughs> full direction. That's right. Horrendous. That's really hard. Like so. I, want, I also want to say uh, shout outs to Shunao for designing the mascot there in the center yeah. there. Uh, the Shunao's are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> And to everyone who made this all possible, I mean, you can see them all there. I'm not yeah. going to list all of them. A lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Generations Atlas, Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is playable here. You can also get it on Steam. I think it's free to play. That game's a lot of fun, too. Brawlhalla, it's a really cool one. They, they've it's, added a lot of new features recently. It's like, like a, uh, if they had like made Smash but tried to make it an air dasher. It, yes. It's pretty cool. It is. And I think my favorite thing, you can do like combos while you're waiting for your opponent to select their character. There's like yeah, a little like a training, training mode, mode. on cool, your little cool. like character select. Yeah. It's it's a really neat idea. I like it a lot. So uh, what was your <laughs> highlight of this weekend so far? 
So far, ooh, I really liked the Catherine suite last night. That was a lot of Catherine fun. Catherine suite the was a lot of fun. Will Stray suite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, Catherine, look it up. It's a very fun, uh, yeah. like, niche puzzle. It's, it's a puzzle, puzzle game, but it's like a puzzle fighting sim. game. Yeah, it, but, yeah, but we play it as a fighting game. Yeah, it's a, it's a competitive hentai dating sim is what I think what uh, <laughs> Dastard Bro always calls it. But, uh, uh, but th that will be on stream tomorrow, yeah, I believe. Top 4 will be on stream tomorrow. Uh, check it out. I think it's late tomorrow. It's like 6 p.m. tomorrow night. I believe that sounds correct. 4 yes. p.m., yeah. The schedule, the schedule exists. You can find it. And uh, if you haven't seen it before, I would highly suggest to tune in just to understand what it is. You it's a good one. It, it's very simple to understand, and honestly, I think very entertaining to watch. It is. So uh, you watch some sheep push blocks around and uh, fall to the death. I think for everyone watching, just do yourself a favor and tune into a game you have never seen before. Just oh, yeah. It, I mean, especially if you're like waiting, got nothing else to watch. I know there's a lot going on this weekend, so I understand. Yes, like, yes. There's a lot of big events going on. There's <laughs> this. There's Worlds uh, for League of Legends. There's TwitchCon is happening. TwitchCon's this happening. So the ESL is happening. There's of course there's something of to tune into, yeah. something to watch. But so thank you for watching this. Yeah, always good. Turn in, watch something new. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Oh. All right. Still waiting for a match. Hopefully we get something soon. In the meantime, Relius is <laughs> Relius is just hanging out. He won. He's cool. He's happy. Oh yeah. I mean. And so I, that I hope he did. I wonder if that means Julian got out of pools then. That could, uh... So that's probably, I imagine it going up to, like, top 16 today? It's top 16, yeah. Yes. So top 16 is tomorrow. Um, and actually... Man, we are having, uh, apparently <laughs> some difficulties. I don't know what time it is, because <laughs> if it's not 6 yet, the pools don't start until... It is 6.06, 6, 6, 6 currently. 6, so they should, have, they should have something now. Yes. I'll uh, put up... Okay. All Here right, we and we are back, and we, we do are. have a match for you now. Yes. Um, <laughs> so beautiful dude again. He, he doesn't have any breaks yeah. right now. But sometimes that can be good, good playing yeah, you, warm. I think especially for, I think it works well for Julian, I think especially for the characters he likes to play. Um, puppet characters, puppet sometimes characters can like be really very technical, down, very yeah. precise. Like, you, you've got to time keep your some hands warm. mix -ups and also, very, like, A lot of very times you get that momentum behind you, you just want to keep going. Yes. So. And then meanwhile, we have uh, Oso. <laughs> Oso will be Oso. playing Button Check. Yeah. A very important character to play. Make sure everyone should play Button Check, you know, <laughs> before the match in the tournament. It's a good one to play. Too many times have I seen Type A or Type B people yeah. sit down and they're playing on pad settings. <laughs> and right. like, oh, this the the right. big one to watch out for is pad setting, I think. Like, Ooh. Oh, we got a Carl? Okay. So, uh, Carl... Father-son father, father son matchup here. <laughs> yes, very important note. Thank you very much. Um, Carl is a very... I mean, both these characters are very dangerous. Very very scary. Very... The minute you get knocked down by either of them... Either one, it's going to be hard to get out of. And I think... Relius might have a slight advantage there, just because he does, I think, have a... Well, Carl has his role for a reversal, like a reversal option, right? Yes, yes, okay, he does. That actually, oh, that actually might be better, because I know... I mean, honestly, it I think the main matter. thing is both these characters don't care as much as other characters about defensive options. That's true. Because it's, dolls it's can be cover... It's going to be very much who gets the first hit. Yeah, dolls can cover so much. So, the, honestly, it's going to be who can play neutral better right. and who runs their mix-ups, who guesses right on mix-ups. Who ends their combo is probably going to be a big one, too. <laughs> uh, yes, so hopefully, yes. like, you don't want to drop your combo in a thing like this. <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! And already, Carl... in. 
Harold does oh, not well, have yeah. time for this. Putting him in the corner. He's he's just not playing any of this, but mm -hmm. oh, that was a good match. Good burst. I, honestly, I think that was an okay burst to keep momentum, but he didn't capitalize on it very well. Really, it's got out of the corner. It can be a bit hard since uh, while I, you are bursting. So, Carl is unique in that while he is doing other things, he can activate his doll, right. but uh, not while he's bursting. Oh, he can't, okay. That's yeah. good to know. While he's overdriving, he can. Yes, while I, he is overdriving. I, I think I respect the choice to burst there just because... Yeah. Keep him in the corner. Keep him in the corner. And like I said, with a character like Carl, you want the momentum. But it's didn't work out, and beautiful dude going in. You can see he has active flow up in the top right corner uh, yeah. under his character portrait. So his combos will do more damage when he gets hit. Not anymore, but he will do more damage when he gets hit uh, with active flow. And if he didn't have his burst, it would come back fast. Wow. Oh. Beating out the super. Yeah, the, the important thing is you're noticing the difference between these two uh, puppet characters. Yes. Whereas Relius's doll travels with him. Carl's only travels where he tells it yeah, to. And it stays on the screen in position. Yeah. So, yeah, like... Uh, and Relius, Relius has to tell his doll to do something. So whenever he poses, he snaps. Yeah, he, also, so yeah. he summons the doll. And he, when he, he can unsummon it, and when he summons it again, it'll come back. Yeah. So, like, it is slight, but he is forced to do yeah. something along with his doll. It's, which, big, yeah. big, it's small differences. I think it makes him... Wow. Oh, who? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, was a sliver of health. Oh. Yeah, this is a rough matchup for both of them. They're just like it trying is. to—they're finding a lot of like neutral hits, but it's really hard to confirm and the everything. Interesting. And Relius's neutral game—I don't want to say it's stronger, but it depends. It depends less on his doll's positioning because he has it. Yeah. Whereas Carl has to have his stuff set up so he can play better. And at least strong. I like it. Also yeah, playing the role, covering the role options with his doll, so he can do the mix-up himself. And then, I like that smart as well. Get some doll meter back. It doesn't get to confirm there, but that's okay. Beautiful dude getting out of the corner, stops it to block that smart, timed that very well. Yeah. Another thing that uh, I don't think we touched on, you can hit the dolls. You can. And if you're hitting Carl's doll, Nirvana, um, while she is active, she will be losing that life bar That's on her cool. meter. Oh. Whereas if you hit Relius' doll, she will unsummon. Yeah. I think it depends on, might depend on some of the moves, I think. And yes, they both have, have moves that have armor. So yes, have that is true. That. At neutral. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Also, it's a perfect there. You can see there he did the rapid to try and predict the burst. Didn't come and then just pushed the right buttons. And uh, Carl, uh, you have to wonder, has this beautiful dude ever played a Carl? Because um, He might have. Uh, SoCal has Zong One. Which that is, that is true, yes. And Zong One is a very strong Carl uh, playing. As far as I know, since like CT. But I've, and he, I think he took a break and has come back recently. Sounds about right. Uh, but I don't know how much they've played. I know, uh, like, beautiful dude Santa Barbara. I don't know, you know, where everyone is in SoCal. And there is our the Exceed first Excel. Exceed Excel yeah. that we've seen. And it's, I mean, the big thing about Exceed Excel is it gives everyone a wake-up reversal option as long as they have uh, the verse. Yes. And so it kind of normalizes that for everyone. It's also just really strong for some characters specifically. Like you said, Carl has the option when he overdrives to make his doll do things. That was a dirty setup. That was a <laughs> crush trigger. The crush trigger into the doll so it would confirm, and if it didn't, it would keep the pressure going. And <laughs> doesn't even need the doll to finish. Yeah, it, in order to properly guard a crush trigger, you have to barrier it. Again, yeah. barrier is a very important mechanic in this game. You can see their barrier meters are below their health meter currently. Yeah. And it's honestly it's pretty rare that you run out of barrier, but it does happen. And if you do run out of barrier, you get put in a danger mode, which means you take more damage when you get hit, and also you can't barrier. And that uh, is very important because some moves in this game are air unblockable. Yes, uh, you can only block them if you barrier. It also means uh, what you saw the crush trigger that will break your guard unless you barrier it. Uh, so if you don't have any barrier, that you can crush trigger for free. And I say for free, but it's still a long <laughs> start if you can poke out of it. Yeah. Meanwhile. Relius. Well, Relius started his game. He, he's putting some discipline. He's yeah. putting the fear of he God the, in Carl. He got the perfect back. Saying, uh, hey man, guess who taught you all your tricks? Yeah. Counter hit. Relius 2C. You can just feel the impact of that move. He's a very good anti air. And there's the role you were talking about. Carl yeah. does have a role. <laughs> and he lead lays through the Exceed that Excel. Really that was good. extremely yeah. smart. Like I said, Relius also has a reversal with the lead lay there where he does the spin. It's kind of like a Minotaur. Uh, uh, Minotaur. Bullfighter? Not a Minotaur. <laughs> uh, I can't think of the word. There's a word, like a bullfighter thing. 
It's always just what I think of anyway. It's like spins the cage. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yes. Oh, yeah. I can't think of the word right now. Someone's just going to blow us up on Twitter <laughs> and be like, it's this move. Like, you fool. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's in the sandwich. Guard cancels That's out stuff, immediately. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good burst, I think. He does not want to lose there. And even if that didn't kill, he would have been in the pressure between the doll. Good overdrive. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was, that was I, risky, but... I, I think I kind of agree, because uh, throw is one of Carl's fastest moves. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, he himself does not have, like, the best normals or the wrong, right. longest reaching. They're pretty stubby for a lot of them. And so he saw Relius doing a move during the pause yeah. of the overdrive, and so he thought that he could uh, take advantage yeah. if he was pushing another move or maybe even throw the recovery. It's also an easy one, because you if you get the throw, you, like, you have a second to get that confirm. Yes. You know what you're doing. Yeah, but Carl's big thing is if he gets a throw and his doll is nowhere near, he can summon during the throw animation. Sick. Always make sure that uh, Nirvana is right nearby. So he can easily pick up the confirm off the throw and have her there for it. Yes. Again, a and quick burst. A very quick burst. <laughs> Ooh, goes to the cross up, blocks it. Beautiful dude is uh, awake right now. Good mash, gets the doll. Here comes Relia's pressure. Also is doing the overhead. Also is doing very good barriers there to just push Relius out to an awkward range there. But he still got hit in the corner. That's not what you want to see. He gets the pressure with the Super. doll. So he is planning to finish it here because he will not get his doll after this. She will be dead. He doesn't. This could be a big. He knows to turn it around here. No. Oh, oh, rapid. He keeps the pressure up with the rapid. It was very smart. He gets the low. Yeah, normally without a special cancel, he can't do much there. And with the doll yeah. dead, you don't have many special cancels as Relius. I think you can spin and that might be about that it. Might be it. <laughs> um, but we're seeing a lot of doll neutral right now, just uh, trying to hit the other one with the other doll. Again, that guard trigger. But no, his Nirvana is dead. So that could be really big. And he has a good minute to get in. Yeah, start his pressure. The other thing is he will have to summon it. Uh, because it is in the complete opposite corner right now. Uh, but right now, he just doesn't want to be there. There you go. I, I think Beautiful Dude could be a bit more responsible about punching the doll. There, there you, go. you go. Yeah, I, I think he could be poking it a bit more. Uh, especially, well, it's hard if, you know, if he uses his doll for it. Because yes. if they trade, they're both going to lose. Use doll meter. Another, counter assault. A, another big thing is uh, if he himself punches the doll, he will sort of like freeze there for a moment and the hitbox of his move actually freezes there. So if Carl tries to cover it and covers it poorly, he will get hit. Overdrive, this could be a this lot of damage. Oh, he did it to, to get all of his wow. doll meter back. That was really smart. Gets the, gets the burst! burst. This gets him in the no pressure. Punish, but he gets the mix he gets up. The mix There's up the overhead. overhead. The beautiful dude, BB? All right, but he is not done on, yet. Yeah. He has to play against Kid Viper. This and he said earlier he lost to Kid Viper in winners. Oof. So this is going to be an interesting match. It's definitely uh, Nauta's new character. He yeah. he said himself he didn't have a lot of uh, character experience here against Nauta. This could be a tough one for him. We'll see. And uh, Nauta, you know, it might not matter if he gets the hit. If really gets it's in the true. I, I think the big thing is going to be properly navigating around Nauta's DP. Yeah. Nauta's flash kick because he has been spending a lot of time in the air. That's so true. it's an important thing to think about, and uh, making sure he knows what to do about Naoto's charged uh, drive normals. And of course, Kid Viper, his whole game plan is going to be, how do I get in on this guy? Right. I really actually like this uh, pink Naoto a lot. It's a good one. I actually really like the purple Naoto personally, but I can, I can see people though. Oh, we're going right into it. Yep. No button checks. No button checks here. We know our buttons. We know what we're doing. I mean, Beautiful Dude just played, so he definitely knows his. And again, we're seeing a lot of these early bursts just to get momentum, keep yeah. people in the corner, it's, and 2 you know, counter it. It's been, in general, a good option in Blaze Blue, but I don't know if it's... I, now it's one that's a little harder to justify. I still think it's okay, because you get, like, especially with these characters, you really want that momentum. Yeah. Um, but I think in a lot of cases, you know, you could just wait for the overdrive. Uh, like take the wake up overdrive option. Yeah, so th that does make sense. It, it, it's a really tough call. And it is, and, it, and I think you know ultimately it's up to the player to choose. Blocks the overhead. A lot of people have been getting tagged by that yeah. today. Wow, I like that. Nice. I, I follow with the follow up on the DP so you yeah. can combo afterwards in the corner. Really, it's getting the hit. 
putting her in the face. Oh, wow. Sway hits the just sway, though. not long enough. Punches her. All right, Kid Viper can make he something think, happen here. He might be able to poke that with his D moves, but no. It's in the mix-up. Good counter assault out. Really good blocking by Kid Viper. And puts him in the corner. He might be able to take this here. Can he get the hit? He makes it get Grab. Oh, can do it. Can he still win? No. Oh, that is a big overdrive. drop. Overdrive. And DP rapid. Oh my god. Can he get it? <laughs> Scramble. Oh my god. Just and there you see the, the, the unblockable, yep. but not if you're crouching. Yep. A very. I mean, at that point, he felt like he had to take a gambit. Hey, you know, I feel like. I, I, I see what he was going for there. It, it's it always rough after you drop a combo because right. you're like, oh no, now I have to make something happen. You get that scramble there. Yeah. Oh. The DP's hits the doll. Bellius has it covered though, but not a huge confirm off it. It's, yeah, you can definitely see here. Julian, he's made some adjustments. He's controlling yeah. the normal a lot. Or, excuse That's me, the neutral. Getting the neutral better, yeah. <laughs> Putting him in the corner. And the doll's going to cover a lot of his DP off, uh, you know, thanks to the DP there. And that's an important burst, honestly. He needs to get out of there, but no! Wow, that is that. a very unfortunate trade. The super trade. goes in. Beautiful dude taking the first game. I'm pretty sure that was the first game. Yes. Even though it says 1-1. <laughs> yes, yeah. so that was left right, over. Making sure. check. Um... So uh, another thing we haven't mentioned about Naoto, a lot of his moves are powered up while dashing. Yeah, so a lot of his inputs, like, yeah. that's why a lot of his combos are weird, because you have to, like, dash cancel the move to get the stronger version. Yeah. yeah, so if you ever see that, like, blue shadow trailing behind yeah. him, that means he has dashed into the move. Right. I guess the fatal. Fatal, confirmed. Yeah. That's, a, that's a fine burst. Just because the fatal, make sure he's got that fatal confirmed. Like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, right, right now it's just Kim Viper cannot catch Beautiful Dude. No, Beautiful Dude is playing a very strong neutral game here, and I think he's figured some stuff out. Uh, Kim Viper right. again gets the counter hit. He's getting, so he's figuring out some stagger pressure. Yeah, making sure to keep Rallys there. All right, there we go. Very that time, Rekka's yeah, into the full. It, yeah, it gets the overhead. Okay, that's a fine burst too. <laughs> I mean, it's the thing where you don't want the pressure. I understand these bursts. Yes. <laughs> it's also they're... another thing where uh, I think overdrive becomes more prevalent the longer the game goes on because people get like overdrive confirms. Right. Ooh. Tip of two A is hard to confirm. Wow. No, it doesn't catch. <laughs> that is a hard to punish super if it whiffs. It recovers very quickly. Yeah. And I, I see, you know, doing it to get in, get through the doll. Gets the hit there. Kid Viper is feeling something about the way that Julian is uh, pushing buttons now, because I yeah. think he got that counter hit at least three times that last match. He is. He's getting the, uh, getting the frame crept in. And, wow, goes for the hard read with the DP. Beautiful dude gets the fatal. This should be big damage. Gets the mix-up at the end. No, doesn't block it. Right back into it. Yep. He has Pitchman to be responsible with Dahl. He might... Oh, yeah, there, there, yeah, the there you go. Yeah. Viper's gonna get burst. Is he gonna use it though? He's so far down. No, I think I, I personally I don't think he could. Um, uh, you have to hold this because if you guard cancel, she still will be hitting yeah. you. No. Gets, oh wow. Doesn't get the confirm. <laughs> Which did he keep it? There's no punish. And he's out of doll. Kid Viper could make this happen. I've yeah. seen crazier comebacks happen, and he has active flow. And this is the hit. That damage. Oh, there you go. Nice. Puts him in there. Puts him in the corner. Gets the rapid for the pressure. This is, this is gonna be big. <laughs> the burst. Honestly, that getting that burst there is big because even if he loses, he will not have the burst for at least a long time into the next round. That is very true. And oh, oh I thought he was gonna go for the air throw there. Well, yes, you you did mention zero burst. Yeah, and zero burst to until start. he gets active flow. That's really that's, going to be slow yeah. at recharging. It's possible. I mean, it's possible he might not have a burst this round. If Kid Viper gets the momentum and gets a big hit, he. Was, you know, his burst might not come back. But putting him in the pressure, putting him in the corner again, good DP out. He, he's choosing uh, he's choosing a lot more times where uh, Relius is close now to DP instead of yes. just DPing on uh, his wake yeah. up. He's getting a lot smarter about it. <laughs> that was a brutal trade on both parts. Just Thought he would be pushing a button. Oh, wow. So it's not safe on. on it, it, no, 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 no. That's good. It's just that on whiff, it recovers very quick. Got it. But it, he didn't get a counter hit off of that, so I guess it doesn't put him in counter hit stage, which is interesting. Oh, I missed it. I might have missed it. All right, no doll. But Kid Viper's still very low. But I like the fact that he you know, felt better going for the DP there. Is this it? Is this it? That was Beautiful it. Dude. Hit. 
taking it's out dude. Kid Viper. Turns out Beautiful Dude plays this game. <laughs> he he had the fib up there. Beautiful and dude, it was well The Beautiful deserved. Dude BB. Oh, <laughs> e <laughs> even <laughs> being responsible. Being responsible and turning off his pad after the fact. Shout out to Beautiful Dude. And he's even getting the fan pictures taken oh right my now. God. But honestly, that was just, well deserved. Just feeding his ego more. You know, yeah, I'm normally against feeding Julian's ego, but he did. He won some tough matches there. I, I he think played the, very well. I think the important thing is, like, if you've lost to someone early in tournament, you right. feel like you now have a lot to prove. Right, and beating them afterwards feels really nice. All right, so I believe that was the uh, end of the last pool. I think so. And now we're going into the new pool. So a new set of fresh faces yep. are most likely coming up soon. Oh. Take a moment after that last one. That was a... Yeah. Uh, and both of these guys playing pad. Interesting that one of them still uses the... Uh, the same setup. I think it's always interesting to see like the, the different setups uh, layouts pad players use. Yeah. Because a lot of people map buttons to like the shoulders and I don't know. I think it's cool. I I, I don't play pad personally. I you know, I grew up in arcades playing stick, but I think it affords you a lot of like options you don't get on stick because you have so many more like macro options yes, kind of it, things. And uh, I think a big thing that people underestimate about pad is uh, honestly a lot of your movements and buttons are silent. Right. And uh, I, I know some players pad. take cues from like hearing right. I mean, buttons like, you can or hear stick stuff sounds. get mashed and. I mean, I've definitely lost games because someone's like, yeah, I just heard you mashing. Like, I knew you were going to, you know, reversal then. I was like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so it, a lot of people sometimes prefer silent buttons on their stick, and yeah. pad players, they don't need that. They like, need you, you can't see what directions they're doing. You see their hand moving, but what does that mean? Who knows? All right, so, uh, so DWB know. versus uh, uh, C Tension. Dude, I love tensions. All right, Terumi. Terumi versus Noel. Noel. Interesting to see Noel. I know a lot of the like big Noel players aren't playing her anymore in this version, uh, so she, she, she had uh, a lot of changes I mean, that many of them are not fans of. Noel, that's called Noel, not the Noels <laughs> that are also Noel. We'll, we'll worry about that yeah. later. <laughs> and but uh, confirm. It looks like DWB still has his uh, love for he Noel, knows how to play. And, and he's working. He's got his confirms. And Terumi, another character that had a uh, set of changes, but this time for the better. Yes. Where uh, he did get a lot better. He got a standing overhead, which is standing very overhead. Important. His uh, J2D is now plus on block again. That's also really good. And uh, I think the biggest thing for him is just the system changes for like overdrive and the like. Yeah. Really benefit him. It really does. Because any random hit for him into his uh, meter confirms. Yeah. Into and overdrive. Even overdrive like hit, hit, random hit overdrive. US does his 100 meter super, and that's like 7,000 damage. 7,000 damage, and takes your meter. Right. Because he, he, well, he drains their meter yeah. during his overdrive version of that super. And honestly, uh, not enough that people really think about it. And yeah. the biggest thing is, he can use 50 meter to confirm into an overdrive, and get 100 meter for that right. super, and because like, yeah, every Termi's single D hit he gets, he gains yeah. a lot Termi's of meter. His whole gimmick is he just gets a lot of meter very quickly. Uh, all of his hits give him a ridiculous amount of meter, and it's important for his character design as well because he has like seven supers. Yes. <laughs> so he doesn't have a lot of regular specials, he just has a lot of supers. Uh, but meanwhile... But it D doesn't matter DWB if you don't get the hit. DWB... DWB was no not informed Noel. that Noel got yeah. worse. <laughs> He's like, yeah, this is uh, everything's <laughs> fine. I'm just gonna shoot some things, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Tension bursting out, necessary burst there, and it's got to confirm. This could change a lot. All right, Just to mix let's up. see what his momentum is. Locks the anti-air, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, he locks it. it. I spoke too soon. Hit. Counter hit. Can he, he confirm this? Can you confirm it? He can confirm it, yes. He chose not to. That, but. No, I, I should say. Stop he, blocking the second hit of the low. <laughs> Noel's 2C is a two-hit low. But yes, I, I think is what his app to say is it is possible to confirm. Yeah. Counter hit DP super from uh, Tarumi. Yeah. But uh, honestly, C he just went right back into it. He thought, I mean, he was like, you know what, I played fine. 
I just, just need to get those right hits. Yeah. Like, EWD playing very strong in the well. Um, Blocks the overhead. Yeah. Not the second one. one. But Ooh. doesn't pick up the combo there. DWB, he's really just every hit is converting to something meaningful <laughs> while Kenshin just is having trouble getting anything going. Let the pick aside, it doesn't get the frame. We saw go win for it there. You yes. run up five feet to confirm. Oh, here's the overdrive. Go. No. Doesn't, doesn't get the get stomp. That's the standing overhead you got now. Um, I think the only way to confirm off that is with Super. Uh, but uh, like you said, Jeremy generally has the meter for it. Wow, hits him out of the air Super. It turns out, so that I believe that used to have invuln in previous versions, not anymore. It is just very quick. Yeah. I believe it has projectile invuln now. Okay, okay. I don't know if it ever had like a lot of invuln, but it might have had some. Yeah. It's actually very important in like the nine matchup where you can go through rock. But this is neither here nor there. Yeah. Um in theory it could be important here because Noel's D a lot of Noel's D moves do have at least some projectile property. I don't know the specifics though, I just know Tegas and Sledge through them. Makes sense. Uh, just the crush figure doesn't confirm it though. It, it's but actually very difficult it is. to so confirm. It depends on how long you hold the crush trigger for. Yes, that is so a very, very important point. Right, so if you hold crush trigger, it will break the guard longer and you can get a confirm. If you just hit it, it'll break guards. But I, don't, I think there's a lot of characters that might not even be possible to confirm. I don't. I, I think if everyone is dashing into it, they can grab okay. after it. Okay. If their grab is five frames. Rift Tager. Ooh, he oh. caught him sleeping. So, uh, an important point. Uh, he takes it very convincingly. Another interesting thing where uh, Blaze Blue differs from some other games is that you have a multitude of tech options once you're on the ground. You you, if you hold the button right when you hit the ground, you can do what's called an emergency tech, which pops you off immediately. Yeah. Um, assuming, of course, you're allowed to tech at that point. Yes. You can press a button late, which is just a neutral tech. Hold the left and press a button to forward roll, or towards them towards button. The, yeah, towards them to uh, forward, forward roll, roll, away from them to backwards roll. And uh, one that's not used very often is you hold down and press a button and you get a quick get up, yeah. which has no invuln whatsoever, but allows you to act very quickly. Right. It's it's an interesting option, and yeah, it's one you don't see a whole lot, at least anymore. I think you used to see it a bit more back in you know the early BB BBCS CS days. Yeah. yeah. In this game, I, I feel like a big thing is like on any structured hit where you can see that they're going to be getting oaky, it's a really risky option it to really choose is. to do that. And the game has become very oaky heavy as the years have progressed. Yes. The, some characters will just make you hold, wake up into block string, into 50 50. <laughs> Carl. But, uh. And now here we have Nobody EXE uh, versus. Isu QB, and I know nobody is playing uh, Izanami, I believe, in this version. Ooh, that's going to be an interesting one to see. Izanami's such a weird character. <laughs> Yet another new character in this game, and she has... If you have not seen her play or played against her, it's good luck. Ooh, yeah, playing, Asriel's yeah, another strong she's choice, playing though. Asriel. Asriel, yeah, Asriel got buffed from CP. Which, <laughs> and he was, already really, that, he was already really good. He was already good. Um, I think the game itself, however, doesn't lend to him being quite as strong. I think the characters that are better than him, uh, which aren't a lot, to be fair, but are still better enough that, like... He still has amazing dominated. buttons at neutral. He does. He also got a new, a new DP, which is really cool. It's just a giant flying knee. Hopefully you'll see it at some point. Okay. Wow, I, I, instant burst. So, yeah. so the big thing about Izanami that we're going to see is, number one, when she goes into this mode here, she cannot lock. But she has a lot of weird projectiles and a lot of weird mix-up options there. Yes. And this, when that ring is under her, she can float. Yeah. And a lot of her combos and just neutral relies around floating around and sort of outmaneuvering your opponent. Izanami is a weird stance character. She has a lot of different stuff she can do depending on what mode she's in. Yes. However, none of it matters if you're getting hit. That's true. Uh, and does, uh, I, I, I don't... No, you know, if the modes have a name. I always think of this one as like a Gundam thing because he has the bits. Ah, uh, yeah. Out. Gets the burst. Nobody thinks he can take this. Okay, and when the skeleton claws are around her like that, she, she has super armor. armor. But when that happens, her barrier is going down the whole time she has that on her. And every and hit every she hit quote unquote like 
super armors right. chunks her barrier takes down. Takes her barrier more. So it's it's a big gamble just because if you do it, you will lose. You're guaranteed to lose at least half of your barrier during yes. the uh, process of that. But it worked out for good. nobody there because it, uh, it super armored through the uh, Azrael's DP. Yeah. And it was also a time like when at that point the match was almost over. So if you got the hit, I think it was a very like safe risk reward there. Yes. This is a counter hit. We should be going corner to corner here. Oh my god. We, yeah. Izanami has some crazy goes, corner push. The DP, blocks the DP. Is, yeah, the gets a punish. Nice crush trigger mid combo. But yeah, when Izanami hits you, you're going places. You are. And gets, gets the armor and that. I think the armor there was purely to try to bait the DP, which was smart. I, I think it's or not less bait, of a bait. It's, it's just like not worry about yeah, it. To cover the option yes. of the DP. Ooh, going back to character select. Okay. Might not believe in Asriel. He might just, oh no, Ooh, switching to Subaki. Does not. Subaki is okay. another character that uh, had some changes for the better. A couple new moves. Has a... Uh, she was honestly already pretty good, but you just didn't see a lot of people play her. Um, I, I do enjoy watching... She's a very fluid character. And it's... it's I really, hate Chewbacca. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually have a justifiable reason. I just, I don't know. I don't like her aesthetic. Something about her bugs me. However, uh, Kubi, Kubu, believing that overdrive at round start is his best option because doing so gives him a lot of those stocks. See above yeah. his meter right there. And overdrive's not a bad option because it uh, does only you. It, you have uh, a third of your burst, uh, a quarter of your burst gauge. I can talk. Um, left after you overdrive. So it doesn't use as much, and you can still get active flow, which means you can get it back faster. Yes. So you can see, he's already got 75% of his burst back. The important thing about the socks is uh, he hasn't had a chance yet, but they yeah. power up her special moves. They do. <laughs> Izanami also has a teleport low, by the way. Izanami not even caring. Nobody is going in. He's going to get this perfect. He is. I think uh, in this game, there are a lot of, like, characters that care a lot about matchups and characters that sometimes can just run their normal game plan and not really care. And I think Izanami's in the second Izanami's category. Izanami's definitely... If she gets a hit on you, she doesn't really care who you are. She, you're going to get knocked out in the corner. She's going to have super armor. Reversals aren't going to really work. Unless you have a command grab. She can be grabbed out of her super armor. That's true. I mean, you can normal grab her too, but even if she takes the grab, the armor doesn't go away. But he did not take it there. Throw counter. Not techable if there's yeah. a throw... Those magic words. And banana Spocky, super. Bring the bananas. Those all put you in blocks. And does it just to get the uh, the stocks. Interesting choice. Because I know a lot of Subakis will do that and then run up for the pressure. Yes. Uh, but he chose to charge his stocks. Uh, Izanami putting the armor back on. Getting the pressure. Wow. Goes to the DP. But he is out of barrier. Doesn't matter if he gets the hit, though. I mean, if this doesn't kill, if it doesn't Yubu kill, might it have one matter. chance. Oh. But he's getting his barrier back very quickly. But now but it's a lot of damage because of danger. Just does the super <laughs> though. Kicked and nobody in the face. takes that game. 2-0. Nobody being informed that he has to stay. Oh man. It is his turn for the gauntlet. <laughs> oh. No, no, he was—he was, he was, he was borrowing his the stick. person ah. whose neck thick. Good, good mix-up. He got me. I got hit by that low. You know, sometimes you get hit by the mix-up. It happens to everyone. Uh, speaking of mix-up, <laughs> Izayoi. Izayoi is a character. She is. She is scary. So, uh, Izayoi. How best to describe Izioi? Izioi is a very interesting character, another uh, mode change character. Yes. Where uh, in one mode she'll be building up these stocks above her uh, yeah. meter. <laughs> Honestly, kind of a weird, uh, like the, the best way I can describe her is kind of a weird mix between the last two characters. Because she has the modes, but she also has to build stock. Yes, and um, I mean, that is that because uh, it is the same, Izioi is Tsubaki. So. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> uh, we don't talk about the story here, man. It doesn't exist. <laughs> We don't, we but don't uh, when she mode changes, she gains a new flight angle and the ability to spend her stocks to teleport and uh, really just... So right there, you see now she has one stock, that little uh, gem above her meter. And the names here are worse which Slim is on Asriel, Exia on... Uh, 
easy way. Then Slim, Slim a very strong athlete. <laughs> Meanwhile, from Canada. yeah. Klim punching Klim. in the face. Wow. Did yeah, Klim is a very strong player from Canada. Yes. Uh, I know he's been good at Blaze Blue. He's been good at Uniel as well. Um, so this should be a good match. He's already getting a wonderful mileage out of this DP. <laughs> Not that time, though. No. <laughs> and <laughs> fool me twice. It does a good job. Oh, but gets <laughs> hit anyways. Asriel is often described as the gorilla. He just goes in with he, his normals. He, he has very flails his normals. arms around, yeah. and if he gets a hit, he's making it hurt. He is. <laughs> Shout out to Harambe. Ooh, so uh, what? Something not often used by a, a ton of Azrael's is yeah, that Growler. Not, not anymore. Yeah, Growler, where he puts his arms out and has the aura around him, and that will absorb projectiles. And, and when he does it, he gets a projectile of his own. And, and it, it is a very good it's projectile. A very fa it's a very fast, and it crushes other ones. Um, but it, he can only use it up to. He, he can store up to three, and it's as many projectiles as he's uh, absorbed with it. The other important thing is this mark right there. Yeah. A lot of his moves place marks on the other. Oh boy, yeah, overdrive yeah. combo. This is going to do a ton. Might kill. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, his drives will place a mark on them, and that changes the property of his drives when it hits them. And it is a high or a low mark. Yeah. So his next drive move that is high or low that hits if the mark is already placed usually allows him to combo afterwards. Yes. Yeah. It'll do. It'll bounce them in you know whatever Some wall or form. Ground. Yeah. I wonder if that's a, uh, an old combo that used to work. It doesn't work in this version, because uh, he's been trying that a lot, trying to combo into Sweep for a knockdown. Maybe. I'm not sure. All right, so now she has the high mark. So now the mix-up is, does he want to use the high mark or get a free low hit because she's thinking about blocking high? Yeah. Or, or just DP it. Yeah. <laughs> and now you can see she's in the mode, so she is. Oh, oh. she turned it off. Turns it back on. <laughs> Very indecisive right now. Mm. Burst out, Azrael's trying to get his head together. I think, I honestly, I think that burst was just him trying to like take a take a second so he can get his head back. Yeah. He, the mode change seemed to be a mistake. And Azriel, Azriel's dash, it does work by the way. He just did the conversation. Okay, Azriel's dash is not like nine, but it is a teleport, either forward or backwards, and he can go through you and cross you up if he does his forward dash. Yes. Surprisingly quick too. It is. It's very fast. Yeah, you saw it right it. there. Went for the cross-up low. And there's the high that bounces. Very strong mix-up. Excellent corner push. Oh, wow. And there's the cross-up cross in again. the corner. Yeah, and yeah, it also crosses up in the corner, just in case, you know, <coughs> you, needed, you needed more stuff. And here you see right now, just Asriel's running his game plan, putting out Norris. And really, Exia just can't get his game started. He has can't. a lot of stocks, but it doesn't Asriel, matter. Uh, Asriel is just... Oh my God. <laughs> the cross up growler! I love it! I love it! Just in time, ushering the new era, spooking him. Boo! Cross up growler is my favorite thing Asriel does. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I mean, Boo. how many times have you seen a fighting game character just whoosh behind someone and pose yeah. to kill them? It's excellent. I, I think the best thing is everything Asriel does is just like. A perfect Asriel style. Right. It hurts. He has his style. He knows what he's doing. And it's like the the flash. Yeah. He hits you hard, but it's kind of flashy. And <laughs> he takes you for a ride. All right. He, he's just a gorilla, man. Shout out one. to the uh, the world ends with you. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. I I like the world ends with you pins, or at least the pin. Wonderful DS game, if you haven't uh, checked it out. Yeah, my favorite game, actually. It's, uh, it's very nice. Just If you like all these games, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Arcana Heart, uh, Dengeki, coming here and knowing that you'll have just like a common topic to talk with right. pretty much anyone about. Most of these people are into <laughs> a lot of the other kind of anime, like anime or like you know, the I mean, RPG the, stuff. the similar types of like RPG games. Yeah. Not everyone, to be fair. Yes. Um, everyone has their own, has but preferences. it's a pretty safe bet that you can find someone. If right. you like a game that's very obscure, I bet you someone else here, someone here likes that exact like same that game. game. And yeah. if it's a competitive game, if it has someone a versus here mode, is probably playing that game. someone here is playing that game, and they're probably really good at it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you, if you like the obscure games, not like the indie games, though, for a lot of it, ironically. Yeah. But, like, like a lot of the older games, a lot of the more obscure kind of... Japanese-only games. Japanese games, yeah. 
You will find people to play it with I, you. I, I saw people playing in just like a side alcove playing uh, Hokuto yeah, no Ken. Out in the hotel. Oh, nice. We got so, uh, V the White Mage versus that Zen Kid. V the White Mage playing Celica. That's, that's, that's very apt, actually, because Celica, yeah, Celica her unique heal mechanic you. is heal. Yeah, she can heal herself. She, she, ne they sort of updated her mechanic in this one, where she'll get this, uh, like, basically fake life back, and then yeah. she can either choose to heal that life or spend it to upgrade her drive moves. Oh, that's cool. I, I knew it existed. And I knew she could heal it. I didn't know about the uh, using yeah. it for that. That's really cool. So, like, she has a really, pretty strong reversal now, thanks to that uh, new mechanic. Okay. And a, it, the big thing is it has a super armor on it. And she right. can also put it on her overhead, which again, gave super armor. I, I, did know, I did know her reversal got out of armor now, and that's really silly. And that gets the counter hit there. That move is also an overhead. Selic is kind of a, uh, you know, a silly character just in her design. Because she has the doll that does like most of the work for her, and all her hits are just her kind of flailing around. <laughs> And you know, she, Silica, I don't, like, I, I don't know, you know, the story. She's either. not really a fighter. But she doesn't seem like a fighter, which is why she has the heals. Uh, but, you know, then to going in with Ragna, which is, I mean, you know, Ragna's the typical character, the, the poster child for Blaze Blue, as it were. But I don't, from what I I've heard, he's not great in this version. Yeah, but I, th I think Zen the biggest thing is, care. is he's just a bit too straightforward he is, for he's this very version. Straightforward. Oh, th but there is the super arm reversal, by the yeah. way. Sometimes that doesn't matter, and you yeah. can see in, in Celica's health that like green glowing, health. Yeah. yeah, it can be healed, or or she can just she get can hit. just get hit. You know, it doesn't matter if you're dead. You can't heal then. The the important thing is it's a it's not like a focus attack health or Raven health and Guilty Gear. Right. If she gets hit, it doesn't actually go away. Right. It but just, it doesn't matter if you die. Yes, it, it is also not real health until she heals it. Yeah. And White Mage, White Mage going in this time. Counter hit, knockdown. He, he's got pre he's got pretty nice confirms. He's just uh, really respecting, I believe, the DP on Wake Up. So he's not doing much for his OK. Woo! That was a nice. That is a stylish though. combo. Woo! With the engine burn. Back. And just like that, White White Mage wow. has control of this man. And he bur burst. burst. I don't. I, I mean, don't know if he needed to, but I mean, you know, it sometimes you yeah. just got to make sure. Sometimes, you, yeah, you want to keep the momentum. You'll use the burst to, to save it. It won him the round, so I can't hate on it. But he doesn't have a burst going into this, so that could be a problem. Meanwhile, Zen getting the pressure with Ragnar. Man, it sure would be nice if he had a burst right now. <laughs> right. And that's the problem you can see. Gets the counter Does a hit. hard throw tech. You don't see it that often, honestly. No, in this game. it's it's just better options most of the time, honestly. A lot of throw techs are usually hidden behind a barrier. Behind you just barrier. do back ABC. Yeah. Gets the overhead. I, I wonder if that was a crossed-up barrier, actually, because that, that was uh, his six B. But either way, it works out in his favor. It does. Again, back in the corner. Back in the corner. <laughs> Flood sight. Resets and, I mean, Zen Kid is definitely happy about this. Yeah, he's fine, but White Mage. White Mage, here's the overdrive. overdrive. Oh, wow, good the DP. overdrive. Zen Kid. DP's on Zen Kid has no fear. Up. Zen Kid is going in. Oh, but, but there's a heal. the heal, and you can see you're getting the health back now. Blocks that. That was a cross so, yeah, up. That's, that's, I mean, a decent amount of health. Rapid. Oh, it doesn't oh, get the dash. Get confirm there. Super the blocks super. it. But it puts him on the that, other side. That is screen. definitely one you need a training and mode to figure out like how exactly. Yeah, it's it. not an easy one. Whoa! whoa. Scary choice. Both there. Fatal. But she has already back. All this big. She's gonna yeah. be healing. And like, but like we said, when you use the overdrive, you usually two get around, it back but it didn't a matter. Lot yeah. And then can taking it. Um, making sure he disconnects his Yeah, pass. yeah. Everyone's good making sure we have... Good on you, good on you. <laughs> That's an important one. Good manners here at CEO Taku. Disconnect your uh, DS4 from the PlayStation. Everyone will love you. Honestly, and everyone here has been really chill too for the most part. I haven't seen any issues with like... I think there was one on stream earlier, but I believe it was at the very end of a match, so it didn't impact anything too... That's good, that's good. <laughs> too important. Oh. 
Uh, yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Popeyes after this. <laughs> I believe Shout everyone out. here at CEO Taku gets a discount. Shout outs to Popeyes. Shout outs to uh, Popeyes. Shout outs to Jabele for getting that together. Yeah, Again, he, I, he also got us, a, I think, a discount at BJ's, which is also oh. right next door. It's like 10% off at BJ's. Perfect. Yeah, Jabele, Jabele with the hookups. He, he really... I think the most important thing is a lot of other tournaments people go to, and you're really on your own. You, you have to get yourself to the venue. Yeah. Sometimes it's not even attached to the hotel. You have to make sure you keep yourself well-fed. But here, like, everything's all in one place. The Wyndham is all in one place. a yeah, really a good, spot. like, all the rooms are really close to this venue. Right. The food is really close. Uh, there's, a, there's honestly, one of the biggest things is there's a pool <laughs> with a... Uh, poolside bar There's, and food yeah. right next to it. There are two pools. Yeah. There are two pools. Lest we not forget <laughs> yeah. if one is too crowded. <laughs> Most importantly, there are two pools. So if you're, like, if, like, if you're trying to come chill at the pool, you should come to see Yotaku. I'll hang out with you probably. Yeah. I'll be at the pool. I'm going to the pool after this. Yes, yes. It, I believe it is tradition. After yeah. pools night, everyone goes to the pool. Yeah. So even if you drown in pools, you have a chance Always later a chance to, to go to for go a swim. To go to the pool. It's a good time. Meanwhile, I'm just going to go back to uh, lounging on <laughs> yeah, this bed. Yeah, these setups are nice. I wish I had a little more back support, but it's all right. The beanbag shows. Just be a little careful with the... Uh, yeah, yeah. I accidentally knocked that down earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stage has its man. Playing Smash all over again. Yep. Dude, I love poker floats. <laughs> Uh, again, once again, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. Yes. We could not do this without you. We hope you're enjoying these matches. I know I am. I am. It's been good. I, I really like this game. I'm just excited mm. to see people playing Blaze it, Blue again. It's really picked up in a really big manner. Yes, and a and lot of people were really afraid. Nice. It was like, oh, Blaze Blue was like CP 1.0. It was kind of dying off in tournaments. And everyone was like, oh, I don't know if CF yeah. is going to be enough. And yeah, then it came out and everyone was like, all right, give me a demo. Who, yeah. who wants the game share? Play this game with me. Right. And then it also, uh, round one had it in America for an yes, arcade. Yes, very before. important, very important. Helped a lot of people get into it early. And, I mean, you know, the other thing is people like it. It's fun. It's fast-paced. A lot of the mechanic changes help a lot of people out. It's really, I mean, I, I will admit, the other games, they had some things I did not like. They were a bit slow for my liking. This That's one, I love the pacing. I love the characters. I love how y unique everything feels in this game. Anyways, coming back for our next match. Ooh. Nobody EXE back up again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to sit up for this one. It's going to be a good one, yeah. You, you got to pay attention to Izanami, because uh, if you're not watching, she does have some pretty sneaky overheads. Yeah, ooh, awesome. ooh, DC coach DC coming in here. His opponent. I'm not sure who that is, but he got the Overwatch headphones with the Tracer on it. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Tra Tracer is uh, honestly pretty anime. That's, that's She's fair. got the anime hair. She's got the teleports, yeah. Oh, missed it! Oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. Everything makes sense now. But Mystic plays Type A, so I don't know about this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we don't bring our prejudices here. This is a uh, prejudice-free. No, no biases here. So uh, Mystic, Florida Mystic, player. I'm not sure who Mystic plays in Blaze Blue. So, I'm. Oh, okay. They're being being very responsible again. Getting rid of all dual shock force. That's a good choice. The problem is you can't disconnect your own dual shock four and turn it off. Kind of thing. <laughs> you, you gotta have a homie do it for yeah. you. Oh, 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 oh wow. my is, goodness! I'm excited to see this. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a match. So it's hard to say if Mystic has Izanami experience because she's such a new character. You know, well, it's hard to say if nobody has if, Arakuni experience if, because he's such a rare character. Because he plays DC, I would imagine he does have the Izanami experience. Well, DC's, but, at, at least, at, all I've seen DC play today is uh, Celica. Celica. Uh -huh. Yeah, I thought he messing with Izanami, but no. Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't know, I could be wrong. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes you just have to mess a character to know the matchup. Yeah, but maybe not. All right, we, we have some... Uh, Fluid neutral from both players, an that's, early burst from both players. That's so, I actually I think that's a smart burst because that combo would have led to curse. Yes. And Arakune is a character, you can see he has that meter above his meter. When uh, that gets full. Then that gets full, things get crazy. You're going to uh, see some so serious stuff. All of his drive moves will add to that meter and that is a curse meter. And when it gets full, as it's about to, you're almost oh there. Oh my goodness, be he careful floating, the there it is. 
And now, now all of his normals will summon those bugs. And that debug <laughs> guard crushes, which is a change that happened in the last game, which I think not a lot of people still know about, because not a lot of people play Arakune. Uh, and it basically, if he has curse on you, it's Arakune's term. It doesn't right. matter where he is you, on the screen, it doesn't matter what you're doing, respect the bugs. You have to respect the bugs. And there are times, you can learn gaps in a lot of it, but there are very few and far between. Also, that 5C anti is very strong. Oh my god! Oh yeah, I, I love that's his uh... Web, is this full curse? Uh, no. Oh, very close very though. Close. Most of his hits should lead to full curse, like his big hit should lead to full curse. Arkane, also interesting in that uh, his air dash is very floaty, yeah. but he can cancel the momentum of it right. by doing it. So he has kind of a weird glide there. Yes. He holds back and then presses a move, and he gets that like downwards angle you're seeing. So a lot of times you'll see Arakune do that, uh, the like float jump B kind of thing. And it's a very strong because it is an overhead, you know, hits high because it's an air move, and also is multi hitting, so it's really good for pressure. And nobody, oh, he nobody blocks at that time. It, yes. The important very thing is you smart. can't just block it the right way; you have to barrier it yeah. the right way. But yeah, nobody yeah, actually navigated that out really curse. well. He did. But it doesn't doesn't matter, matter. And that's gonna curse again. In the end. Yeah, that super will curse again. And Boom, don't get there's the guard crush. <laughs> our, our, our are, you press that 2C and you're like, oh, this is minus. I can do something so after one it. One of the important things, though, is he could have guard canceled there because when Arakune gets hit, his bugs will go away. Yes. Again, something where if you haven't played the Arakune matchup, it's just right. hard to think of in the moment. And it looks like nobody doesn't know the matchup that well, at least not in the current game. Uh, but you know, if he gets his game started, it might not matter. And there he goes. Ooh, the tip Mystic edge. bursting early. Doesn't want to deal with these anomalies. Wants to uh, get that curse. Honestly, these two characters are fairly momentum based. Any Ooh, hit oh, leads yeah. to a lot of corner push or a lot of curse. Entirely <laughs> understandable. And speaking of a lot of curse, get the web, uh, yep. get the spider, get the last one. And doesn't is, it, is keep he gonna, the combo going? This okay. Yeah. He knocks it down because. He wants to he, get yeah, the reset. He, well, it would it would have dropped very quickly, yes. uh, even if it didn't. The damage was prorated a lot. It's a knockdown. Puts a cloud out. Ow. This is oh, oh just using the recovery of his five eight. Oh, but the super <laughs> armor. The armor on. Puts and here's the nobody's chance. And gets a chance. No, able to jump out, but gets the hit again. It might not matter. We're going Let's from corner to corner. Here. We're going around the world. We're in Belize right now. Around the world in 16 heads. And which is just, just on, which is dangerous because he doesn't have a barrier now. He actually saved it. He, so has, he has one sliver, hit so he's left. Not in danger. Yes. <laughs> which is the important. Like he can't actually barrier, but he's not Gets in danger. Gets the in there. Whoa! Wow! That's last second burst. Nah. All right, all right. Is this a Cali burst? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I mean, I I see the choice because he thought he could do it. They both were very low on health. Yeah, some characters like they're fine with that because if they get that one right hit, they can lead into their stuff right. and really. And Arcune is one of those characters. Yo, -ho. Mystic wow. saying, "Hey, if you're not tech, and I'll get some free curse." But he needed to get a little more than he didn't get it. But that's gonna be curse. But mm, bug on blocks. The interesting thing is because his bugs go away when you block or when he hits them. There are t like you generally need to respect the bugs, but there are times you want to press buttons yes. to stop it. It's, it's a match if you have to know. Here's these numbers. So I think everyone's getting counter hit right there after her projectiles because it just doesn't feel that plus. It's weird. Yeah, you don't expect her to be able to do things, and then suddenly it's like, oh wait, no. She's in your face. She's, she's pushing buttons, here. and they will beat yours. Uh, a strong knockdown. Yeah, yeah you have it's to tech that. That will pick knockdown. you up if you know tech. All right, a little bit of an odd situation there. I don't think he wanted to let uh, Arcane out of the corner there. No, but it's keeping up the pressure very well. Mystic is blocking everything very well as well, though. Nobody EXE has the astral potential. Will we see it? There's no. the low. No, we won't, but that's probably good. Goes for the hard bait of the burst. Oh, this is so scary for both players right now. Really Any is. hit will do it. It's a bit more scary for Mystic. Guard, Guard cancel, cancel keep the But Mystic has a lot of meter. Oh, doesn't fight. even need it. All right, Mystic. Mystic looking He's strong. Match point. Watch 
gets the bits to go in. They're unblockable. The interesting thing I'm seeing is I don't know if nobody's combos just end where they're in the air like that. Or I if don't believe they should. Doing, it might also be our Kune thing. It's possible. Because uh, he traditionally has had a weirder hitbox. You, some combos that just do not work on any other character will work on Arakune. Oh, jumps into the cloud and gets cursed himself. There's the blood, blocks it again, it gets yeah. it low. Yeah, this is not an easy uh, an easy situation for anyone. But drops but there. Survive, survives the curse with, I think, minimal damage taken. It, it, he didn't die, you're fine. Because <laughs> he doesn't have curse now. And it, I mean, it's nobody's turn. He's got the active flow going. He's gonna yeah, yeah. A lot. This is the knockdown he yeah. wants because then he can either go overhead there or yeah. land low. Oh, wow, baiting the burst. I'm honestly, I respect it. I was expecting a burst there, honestly. Because he's gonna need to do it soon. Yeah, there, there it you is. Go. The hit right before curse. Oh, oh my God! He just oh, the bugs. That was sick. <laughs> Because it, <laughs> that was sick. I, th I think that might have still been giving him curse. It was. While he was getting hit, he was getting the curse. <laughs> and he was just but like, I don't got like, time I don't for care, this. I'm out of here. I'm kind of bugged to catch. <laughs> oh, they're both laughing about that. That was, that was, that was really cool. I, I think that's my favorite thing now, especially about this version. With so many characters, there are going to be in weird interactions that neither player is ready for. And it's whoever just reacts to the situation better. Yeah, this game has a... There's like 33 characters in this version. Oh, there's hey. a lot of characters. And there's more coming. Yeah, right. And there's two more in the console version when it comes out. Right. I guess this is the console version, but <laughs> when it actually comes out in... Full version, we'll say. Yeah. The Japanese version comes out in a few days, I think. Oh my goodness. Everyone get ready. Yep. So. And even in that, the US version comes out November 1st, so shortly after that, if you're not one to import... That combo did a lot of damage, and I have no idea what it started from. If this combo will do the same amount or end with super... Oh my god, no, it's done. It should end with super, it's done. No. Oh, yeah, there oh, it is. There it is. Kick, kick, kick. Goodbye. Nobody's saying when the chips are down, I only need to hit you twice. And I think the most important thing is he just finishes combos. Yeah. No awkward drops. And that's drops. a big one, right. And that's been a big one for him there because he, he's been able to tech in the air and jump out of a lot of his pressure after he gets, the, uh, he gets from the corner. And especially if, if she's trying to finish her combo, some of her stuff does have some like weird lag on it. It does. So if she whiffs, she is not in a happy place. Nobody chooses to hold on to his burst. A respectable choice, I think, especially because he's up a game. He doesn't want to go into the next At game. At full him. health, he's worried if he gets cursed again, he'll need it. That's fair. Uh, I, there was a moment at the beginning of the round I could, I could have seen it happen, but I also respect the choice to hold it, but he used it anyway. So... He used no. it after he got hit, so... Yeah, it's a fair choice. Um, and he Ooh. didn't have any curse meter. Puts him in the corner, though. No, gets the jump B. Wow. I think he could have confirmed that better, but... Hey, man, you gotta make do with what you get. You do. And what we're getting right now is nobody running a hey, train in the corner. If you... Puts the armor on. Oh, I like that. Out, but no, he still has the armor, so he couldn't hit him. But definitely, I a big... Is that it? Oh, no, he missed drops the cross it. trigger! Wow, Alright, Mystic is still in Mystic it, but hold, he, blocks alive. he blocks the low! This could be Curse. If this is Curse, there it, it is. Dead. Yeah, this, I don't think he'll be able to kill off this combo. No, he has Peter. No, he doesn't tech. He, he's pushing, but oh, he walks under him! Mystic, oh, wow. That was so slick. And the thing you'll see a lot against Arakunis is people won't tech to drain more Curse. Because the combo will stop doing... Honestly, any damage after a little while. Um, but the Arcuna can take on, catch on to that and just wait till it resets and hit you for free. So it's an interesting choice. If you know how to do it properly, you can do some weird things there. Yeah. Oh my god. Meanwhile, nobody. One reset and he's almost dead. Oh, I, I don't even... No, was that no. left? Was that right? I don't know. Had to burst out there. <laughs> Very important. But he gets the oh, hit. here's the hit. This could still happen. Hey, man, you don't need any life if you never, never get hit again. Never over, right? Everybody has a plan until they get hit in the face. Oh, Tech rolls, rolls out. out. The corner, but he still has the armor on. Not hit a button. There it goes. Nobody keeping this up. 
Mystic right. bursting out. This is actually a very nobody scary has situation. No barrier nobody left. has no barrier. He's in He danger. has to get through that cloud and overhead. Not. You know, it's the kind really, of thing. really good match. And so. it was an interesting thing because he had to. He couldn't defend there. He had to go aggressive because he can't barrier. So honestly, he could have died to trip. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Because. There it, it, is trip damage in this game, and you can take a lot of it. Or getting cursed again, and right. he would be guaranteed card crush at that right. point. And uh, got joining Jibale us, we over here with we us. Have oh, he's going to take he a well-deserved nap. nap. You know, like, I, I entirely understand that. that. Is <laughs> Shout out to it, IKEA bed. IKEA. Yeah. IKEA. IKEA for the bed. Jabali just wants to cuddle with himself so for a little while. Story, if you guys can hear me. Yeah, yeah. Rick, so Rick and I, we do you want? Do you want to tell the story to the stream? Sure. No, yeah. Okay, sure. Going, Jabali. You know, for those tuning in, real quick, just a little store <laughs> anecdote. Uh, so, me and Rick, you know, we were the ones who did the stage yeah. last year, literally like 7 p.m. Thursday night with my uh, <laughs> furniture, my buddy Jared's uh, like toys at home oh, and stuff. Wow. So, this year, like, how do we make it better? And we had an idea for something that we couldn't fully realize it, but it'll be here obviously next year okay. as the next upgrade. But we were going to IKEA, man. We knew we wanted a bedroom, we knew we wanted like beanbag, all the yeah. shelving and stuff. Like we bought six bookcases, all that stuff. But me and Rick, besides what we bought for here, we're like walking through, we're looking at every IKEA item and like instantly these ideas, like how can we use this? And okay. like literally like 30 items, we're like, we would do this. We, it was it was freaking hilarious. Like so they're, just our ideas together, man, are uh, you guys are like ready magic. For next year then. It's, yeah. yeah, so. Big, big shout outs to Rick as well. Rick the yeah. Hatto, He's really cool dude, really huge good help. He's well. designed over all the overlays. Yeah. He does all the designing. I pretty much do all the promoting and talking. So he's the more talented one. Uh, doing but, a lot you know, of work behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah he's great yeah, guy. Does so much, so man. Much, me and him, yeah. best friends for like five years. It just—it's nice. so easy because we just love doing. We—I didn't sleep at all. I had to go home and update nine PS4s in my house because uh, the internet here is too slow to do it. Uh, I but yeah, that. but uh, how's Central Fiction going? Been people a lot of are fun, happy. You, really you know what? Matches. People are like, I don't want to play the new update. Yeah. I, I change it. Like 30 people register overnight and oh. add it in. So yeah. that was the right call. But no, uh, it worked. yeah, right. It's, we got the pop bonus in as well. So yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Not too happy about that <laughs> one. But you know what? Like 10 people probably entered it or bought badges just to support right. it. Right. I know a lot of people. So there's that I know money. A lot of people <laughs> just like bought badges. To yeah. Show to up, that, like, so. Not even here. So. Exactly. So that's still awesome of them to support it. Um, Anime is doing great, man. We had, you know, 236 worth 37 for Xert is pretty good, like post Evo. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, there's potential. I would love more developers on the bigger yeah. end to come and be like, all right, this is going to be our main Evo. I'm sorry, main anime event yeah. per year. How, uh, how many unique entries did we get this year? I want to say know? about 430 or so. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, That's pretty really good. good. Yeah. We had 517 prepaid, a lot of spectators. About 150 spectators here just coming by nice. to check out the event. Really Artist cool. style is going great. So um, I'm happy with it. You know, uh, it was a big risk getting a bigger ballroom of this size. Yeah. Anime's never seen anything like this. No, this is really like, uh, just for anime. This so, is amazing. Yeah, uh, it, it's great, man. Everyone's having a good time. That's what matters the most. It's worth it. You know, investments aside, it's just it's worth every penny to see everyone have a good time and keep growing it, man. But yeah, thank you guys as always for yeah, commenting. Thank you, Bailey. All right, I'm gonna take a nap. Alright. Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> it really does. In the middle of all that, we have Klim versus DigiHops. Ooh. Klim time won stop. the first round. Time stop. That's that just looks so it, brutal. It, yeah. No, Izanami is a scary looking character. She does some stuff that's like she's a very good villain. Oh wow! Klim growling through all that though because it is a projectile. Very smart. There, there's so much knowledge where if, if you have it, I mean. Again, if you haven't played Nazareel as Izanami, it's just like, oh, I'll right. just run my normal. He's just like, nah, <laughs> I don't it's got time really, for that. Really, like, good of Clem that he knows, you know, already. Yes. Oh, I can just go through this. Hey, man, do your lab work. Ooh. I really like the Izanami color, though. It, wow. it is a very nice shade of purple. Yeah. And Clem bursting to keep uh, Digi up from the corner there. Ooh. <laughs> wow. I, d I do like the Growler, but yeah, it, it's, it's it is an awkward part. situation yeah. afterwards. So the interesting thing about afterwards is if he eats a projectile, he is in vogue for the rest of the move. Yes. Um, but, but you can like you put a meaty put move on yeah. him, yeah. Oh, good neutral jump. Yeah. And it drops. Slim. Picking it up. Hitting the counter hits. This? Oh, I was going to say, this is going to be it. Going in. Oh, I guess <laughs> with the fireball. So There's the fireball we talked about. Absorb projectiles with Growler. He had that projectile, that fireball. And it's so fast. Really fast, and it crushes other moves. Two. 
he again, is being really, being really responsible with yeah. that. He's using Growler really well in this matchup, and I think it's actually going to be a very important tool. Yes. I, 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 I'm, like, watching this, I'm 99% confident he has the Nizanami in his area. That's, yeah, that's... Because a lot of these are things you would not know if you have not fought this character. All right. What's the mix-up? Mix up? Oh, look at this! <laughs> left, right, left! Triple cross-up. That was the Kansas City shuffle. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Everyone looks left, you yeah. hit them right. <gasps> oh, but meanwhile... All right, not over yet, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. Azrael is honestly really good at the Kansas City shuffle. He really is. Because, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, like, high lows in this game, but not so many left-rights. Yeah. And he's just like, all right, it's the, it's the ball and cup game. Where am I? He's pretty, uh, he's pretty Bruce Willis on the scale <laughs> of Kansas City Shuffles. <laughs> uh, Shout-outs to Lucky Number Slevin. Yeah. If you haven't seen Lucky Number Slevin, uh, you should check that out, too. It's a good movie. Don't bring your kids. No, <laughs> do not bring your kids. Uh, right here, bring your kids here, though. Right yeah. now we have a nice PG stream. We do. Um... It's um, it's a pretty good place. I actually have seen uh, a lot of people's like parents come out with them, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we, we even met a uh, Joshua. Joshua. Shout out to Joshua's Joshua, mom. Joshua shout out to Joshua who is streaming, streaming this. All of this. Nothing would be possible yeah. without him. But no, it's really cool. Like his parents were in there and they came out with him yesterday. I was like, oh, that's really cool. That, you know, that you is, came out support your yeah. kid. I love seeing that. So. uh... I may have spoke too soon in that this was a PG-rated stream because I think Breaker Dave is coming up and uh, <laughs> his he w his, his team won yeah, the three v three yesterday. Breaker, from what I heard, Breaker Dave carried his team. His Arakune is disgusting. It's really gross. it is foul. Hide yeah. your kids. Don't don't let them see this. <laughs> it is. <sighs> and again, it, again, if you haven't played an Arakune, you aren't going to know what's going on really. And his Arakune is. It's gross. It is clean yet dirty. Right. Clean in execution, dirty in the mix-ups. And he's also, like, Breaker Dave's known for his Rachel, but he has had an Arakune for years. Yes. Like, he has subbed Arakune since it, He mainly CS left. Extend, I think? Yes, he, he mainly left because Rachel was so much better than Arakune in the last version. <laughs> right. And uh, now that Arakune is reportedly one of the better characters I'm, in this game. Yeah, the big thing the big thing for me is, you, you know, look at Japan, Soji is playing him again. Yes. And Soji's been known for Soji <laughs> Very for important a indicator. Yeah. What if a top player who used to play this character and left is back to them. Hey, that's that's a clue, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, it, it's one thing you want to watch the good players. You want to see what they're doing well and how they're playing, but you you want to build on top of right. that. It, you know, you can steal people's setups, but if you're not playing as well as you, you know, need to understand why are they doing right. that setup? What's going on? How what can I make this better? It, yeah, how to make it better? And not just how like because so, the top players aren't just top players for their tech. Like they know how to play well too. Yeah, and like maybe some of their stuff is player specific, not right. character specific. Uh, so meanwhile, well, Yachi. Breaker day, yeah. He, he chose Izanami, but uh, we'll, we'll see if that's his only choice in this game. He walked very well at the end there. Yes. But it went for the air throw and got hit. All right, there we go. He made sure that he did not get those seven golden letters. Oh, oh wow. Gets the armor on. He can make something happen there. Goes through the whole jump B, which ate it, like killed his barrier. Yeah, the, the number of hits is what's really yeah, important against really that armor. Thing. So jump B is actually a really strong option for Arakune there. Again, small things that you have, once you've seen the moment, you're like, oh boy, yeah. that is very good to know. You know, it's interesting because not, Izanami is a new character. Like before, ironically, we'd see another Arakune Izanami act, though. Um, <laughs> as soon as we're saying, like, yeah, this moment really happened that right. often. Um, but, you know, it's, Izanami is a new character, but a lot of people are playing her. Whereas, just not a lot of people play Arakune. Yes. Also, uh, shout-outs to uh, one of the lesser-seen Arakune things where he just goes invisible. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's just straight up a thing he can do. It's one of those things he knocks you away. Just, well, may as well go invisible. If he does a move or blocks, I believe he becomes visible again. But I'm so glad they changed Arakune's counter assault because uh, it, you know I don't know when they changed it. I think CP, but it used to be a throw. He would just throw yes. you. Yes. And he could confirm into super off of that. And oh then my get god. Full curse. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Sh shout out to good game decisions. Yeah. And he could not kill you off of it because you cannot kill off a counter assault. 
But it was still enough that, like, I mean, why did you do this? There are still some characters that can combo off their counter assault in this game. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, the Arcune still can combo off of it if he has Curse. Yes. Um, so. But yeah, it's a very good decision not to let it kill. All right, quick burst. Hey, yeah. Yachia has had enough of that curse. He's like, you know what? I want to play sometimes. Brigger Dave is... Oh, wow. I, That's a new move. Yes, I, and uh, if you push a button there, I believe you get caught in a web. Yeah. And it's very weird because lots of Arcanine's... Arcanine doesn't have a normal dash. No, so yeah, that, that, a lot that, of their that. movement is just walking back and forward. It's weird to say normal dash in this game because a lot of characters <laughs> don't have a, it's, it's true. a traditional, traditional dash. dash. Yeah. That is a better way to put it. Um, and like even so, like... He, like there's two kinds of traditional dashes that characters would have in this game where they, they'll run, where they run at you, or they'll have the hop dash, kind of like in Street Fighter. And then there's teleports, which are Kune, yeah. and I think Azrael sort of a mix there. Nine is a teleport Nine definitely now. Teleport, yeah. um, and then you have Tager, who just doesn't <laughs> yeah. have a dash. <laughs> I, I think that just about sums it up. Yeah. Oh my god, and there's that new move coming in. Gets the curse. Gets the web, the gets the curse. This might just kill. He He's has super. super. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, well, I know but, it drops, but wow. it doesn't matter. Again, could be a... Uh, maybe works in the old version. Prorations could be different in this Possibly. one. Possibly. I think it was just really prorated. It was just a, yeah, long combo. Might as well try for it, because, I mean, if you're in curse, you still have the advantage right. in neutral. Like, because even if that dropped there, the bug was still going to put him in pressure. Another uh, Arakune thing, if you are at the end of the stage and you backdash, you can teleport straight to the other end of the map. Yeah, that's a really interesting thing about Arakune, and it's like... It's just a, an option you have to be aware of. It is, because um, suddenly you're out of the corner. Uh, but it's... I don't know the actual frame data on it. I'm pretty sure it's not frame one, because that'd be... Yeah, ridiculous. definitely not, definitely not. <laughs> I think... This should be the end. Should be the end, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Great today. Puts him in the spin cycle. Very say, hey. <laughs> my laundry's done. I've got to get yeah. going. <laughs> We're getting some uh, mad cheers here. Some mad hype. Like Jabaley said, a whole bunch of spectators here. Right. No, there's a lot of people spectating. A really good crowd, actually. Yeah. yeah. And we got full screen uh, projector setups on both sides. So no matter what game you want to watch, it, if you're interested, uh, I believe Dengeki Fighting Climax is going on on the other stream. Yeah. So if you were unaware yeah. and interested, that is happening on CEO <laughs> Gaming. Hit up that multi-twitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even better. Yeah, Even I, better. I love multi-twitch, man. It's great. Multi-twitch saves lives. So all right, we got the Zen Kid again on Ragman. We got yeah. Dot Nova. And I don't know who Dot Nova plays in Blaze Blue. I don't think. It, no, is, isn't he Azrael? That makes sense. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I know he, uh, you know, is well known for his Guilty Gear play. Yes, very, very much yes. I'm gonna feel real bad now if it's not Azrael. He plays uh, Potemkin in Guilty Gear. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, it's Jin. just Jin. I'm wrong. Yeah. I mean, at least it's not Taker. <laughs> I mean, so Jin is... Uh, I'm surprised we haven't actually seen him on stream yet, yeah. but uh, he is a so, quote-unquote like very straightforward character, but he's just <laughs> really good at everything he does. straightforward character. He, he was the original character they made to kind of introduce other... Whoa, whole hype entrance. Oh, right, the, <laughs> oh my god, that's so right, cool. The Ragna Jin clash entrance. I like, I like the way to play out. Um, but yeah, Jin is like the character they kind of made to introduce more like Street Fighter player kind of things into it. Yeah, he's got a fireball, he's yeah. got a DP, he's uh, just very good mix-up, right. very good pressure. Uh, he also had a, he was one of the first characters to have 25 meter options. Yes. So he could do EX versions of his moves, and very reminiscent of things, such games as Street Fighter 4, yes. where you can very 25 meter and use EX versions. So. And I'm sure you'll see that a lot in this match. Yeah, his biggest, uh, Jin's biggest special thing is uh, good rap and yeah. much bigger firm, but uh, the freezing. Wow, text out of the ice. But uh, the freezing allows for some weird standing reset situations, which other characters don't normally get situations like that. Yeah, so his drive button always moves freeze. And if he does a lot of his special moves, like there, Woo. with the uh, 
to the D button, they will get powered up. <laughs> so you can see there, that's like the D version of the, his DP, where he does the first hit, and then he can hold it and do a second hit. Yes, the first hit freezes, and then they just drop back down into that second hit. And if he gets the right hit in the right area of the screen, he can actually combo off of it, which makes it very dangerous. Also, if you hold it, it's a uh, it guard crackle. Yes. But that yeah, takes usually a long, you don't <laughs> usually see that. It takes a long time. Just mash his 5B. Gets him out of the corner, though. Responsible use of barrier, pushing yeah. uh, Zen Kid out so that the uh, Ragnar can do 6D and then JD immediately after. But the second one whiffed, so he felt like he was in an awkward position there. And you're starting to see a lot of the issues that Ragnar has, where you know he gets to a point he just doesn't have he doesn't have the dirty options a lot of other characters. Have. Yes. Like his Ooh. dirtiest thing is cross up DP rapid, which <laughs> admittedly can be pretty dirty. <laughs> it's it, when you see that happen you with see overdrive confirm. behind it's, it, that yeah. can also do a lot of the damage. It's it's a crazy thing to see when you see it happen. Yeah, the Ragnar classic. But, but uh, Dot Nova, quick two rounds right there. Yeah. One. Oh, Jin has to go save the world. Jin applying a lot of pressure, but Zen Jin again, doing those five Bs out of pressure very well. Gets Gone the, the Hades. Hades. Doesn't even hit overhead. He just didn't block it. That's an overhead. That you got to block overhead. <laughs> Well, Always, ooh. Yeah. So that's Ragnar's new move, and it's a. He used to have Belly Edge, which was which like a diagonal yeah, angle, an angle down. down. And that one, this new one, really allows them to better anti anti air. Right. Because if they're standing below him, they're just waiting for you to come down. down. They're going to use their 6A honestly, or their. I think it looks really cool, too. Yes. Like, it looks cool. And you but just. Yeah. Boom, that shit was the perfect there saying, who says Ragnar's <laughs> a bad character? What do you know about this Ragnar? <laughs> Against ooh. the counter hit there, though. This should be big it damage. Put him back it 2C. Yeah. That is a lot. Jeez. Al almost 4,000. Then to DPing out, getting out of the corner, and putting Dot Nova in. This could be big. From push, finisher, yeah. and DP the rapid. DP, jumps out. He goes for the hard punish on the DP, but he rapided it. So Zenkin, Zenkin is hard teching. Oh, excuse me. Hard teching and hard baiting bursts here. Yeah. Which is really interesting because a lot of people have. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so oh, wow. there you saw Dot Nova did the OS because, and then yeah. because of that delay, the grab made him throw reject miss. Right. Very smart by Zenkid. Zenkid coming back with a quick two rounds of his own. Yeah, wow. Apologies for speaking too soon. Right. And I mean, Ragna, he, Ragna's big thing is like he is straightforward, but. He will do damage when he hits you with the right thing. Yeah. And every drive move will heal him. Right. He doesn't have a lot of health. He has a little below average health, but he gets health back when he does the drive move. It's not a thing that comes up very often. It, but much more it with overdrive now. Yeah. Overdrive allowing for him to steal back much, basically gain new cover outs and steal a lot more life back. Overdrive being the old blood cane that he used to have in old versions of the game. Yes. Overdrive confirm. Does Dot Nova have these? Overdrive, all of his specials will freeze you. I love that and ending with the Exceed Excel. Excel. So he gets active flow. Yes. Just the DP <laughs> on his wake up. It wasn't like on wake up. It was like wait a second, second for him to press the button and then did the DP. I bet what that would do is if he did wake up DP, that would be his because <laughs> it would be a bit later. Wow. And normally the law of invuln in this game is the person who activates their invuln second usually wins. Very dependent on what moves or what, of course, but yeah. in general. Oh. I did hear one. I don't remember what character. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me your thoughts right now. I was trying, there was one character where, like, you could go through and, uh, like, use it to go through his uh, Ragnar's DP, but then the hit wouldn't connect because he would still be in bulk. Interesting. I'm trying to remember which character and which move that was, but for the life of me, I cannot right now. It's all right. Right now, we've got more pressing matters. We do. Like Zen Kid bringing Dot Nova to the corner. And he has active flow again, Ooh. but he drops the combo. That could be huge. Dot Nova smells a burst. It's not he coming. The overdrive. He cannot and he's burst like, now. you know what? I thought you were going to burst. You know what? Yeah, that, that's too much it. effort. Yeah. You can't burst. He gets the super, super. Gets big damage. I don't think he can kill. He cannot. But gets the flow to end it out. Miss. Dot Nova. And again, more people being responsible, deleting their uh, sure DS force. I love it. I love it. 
But yeah, Dot Nova showing uh, he's not only a Guilty Gear no, player. He's not. I mean, I'm actually, it's cool to see a lot of you know the the people who are more known for Guilty Gear showing up. Yeah, like, the, uh, the crossplay going play, on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, both games are fun yeah, for different reasons. Too. I I think the biggest thing is I really enjoy seeing different people's like character selections yeah. in the two different games. Because I mean, Dot Nova, well known for uh, the play Potemkin, Potemkin cards. Yeah. <laughs> and there he is playing Jin, who's right. I mean. I, I'm trying to think of something more opposite than Grappler, and I mean a straightforward, like He's Shoto like, like a character. Shoto character, yeah. <laughs> and but yeah, versus Clem versus Is that it? No, no. The people are just coming up to watch. We got a whole bunch of familiar faces in the front row. Oh, Clem versus Mystic. Mystic. Here we go. All right. So yeah, Clem. This could actually be really good because you know, if Clem gets his game going. It's not going to matter about Curse. <laughs> he wants to hit her, and he can do it. So, you know, Curse might not matter. Oh, the, the other big thing is Growler's actually really Growler. Growler Growler against the bugs. So, I actually, one of uh, two of my good friends I've played this game a lot with play, Asriel and Akune. Oh my god, yeah. So, I haven't seen it in this version of the game, but I've seen this matchup a lot. Um, and so, yeah, he can Growler through the bugs, and it's really interesting because he's invulnerable through it. So, as long as he blocks, like... Oh uh, yeah, so, through, not so ba all basically, the but a large. Part but of you it. ignore a yeah. huge aspect. Oh, okay. oh so much so, so much he so, did not like that matchup. That he's going Valk, and again, like that is a perfectly fine choice. Right. No projectiles here to absorb. I'm Just be straight up mix up. You know, I don't know Mystic in this game very much, but. It, it he had a very strong Arakune. We'll see how good his Valk is. It, I mean, he could just be a counterpick player. Maybe. It, Oh, <laughs> he's Wolf's playing a very so scary. Uh, the important people. thing now, they changed Wolf where yeah. the Wolf meter drains only if you're moving. Right. So, so he he's staying there and moving, like moving forward a little bit. He's not using a lot of Wolf, and he gets the knockdown, but doesn't get to confirm there. And the Clem it, bursting to keep him in the corner though. Wolf, wolf normals are super frightening right. for Azrael just because every one of those uh, Wolf 5As probably has a Wolf 5C hidden behind it, which will confirm to a combo. Yeah. But the However, other interesting thing about Wolf at neutral is he cannot block while he's a wolf. Yes, yes. So against you a have character to be, like Azrael, you got to be really careful. His backdash is very good as a wolf, though. But, I mean, if, for example, if he just does like the goose stuff where he goes forward and splashes at him. Yeah. You know. He gets the counter hit. That should flush it out, or finish it out. Doesn't matter uh, how good wolf form is if you get hit. Every hit will revert him back oh, into yeah. human form. Yeah. Mystic, Ooh, corner Mystic carry! Mystic's got a valve. I wow, like that. The, the, mix up. the, the new uh, Knock Jaeger doing the wall stick to allow him for good Oki. I think the most important thing is every single knockdown that Valve gets, he wants a lot of time before he has to do anything because the more time he has, the uh, more time the wolf meter can come back. Right. It doesn't block that DP. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. He went for the wolf mix up there, and because he's wolf, he can't block the DP. Wow. That's a good action. Getting the Exceedix cell there. Finish the match. Ooh, ooh. And you've seen Valks, that's sick. And that, yeah, that was the uh, active, active flow version, active so it does version, yeah. tons of damage. Yeah, I think, I feel like active flow all does the same amount of damage, which is yeah. good. Yeah. Ma make a universal choice, universal, period. All right, he has to be really responsible at his wolf meter right now. Yeah, yeah so he's going to just human form, back off. There. He's completely fine with this. Doing nothing well, in neutral is protect. almost winning for him. Azrael is not a slouch at neutral either. D you can see him putting him in the corner. Dual marks. marks on him. Oh. He's overhead for the combo. So reapplies the top. An interesting thing: he puts the marks back on. He could do a thing with his super, where while he has most both marks on, uh, Blackhawk Singer super is unblockable. He it's doesn't go for it. But very good to know. Yeah. Yeah, because the uh, high point makes his super high unblockable, right, I believe. And the low point makes it low unblockable. So. If he has both, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's what you have to do is like if you said he does a hit before it, you have to guard cancel out of it. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of guard cancel, that was a wonderful bait. Just rapid dash through. Even if he didn't guard cancel, he would still get pressure from there. And hey, <laughs> guard cancel works out wonderfully in Klim's favor. 
the wolf mix up, but yeah, just that DP. Yeah. You know, and it's a tough option when you're a wolf there. Yeah, Mi Mystic is going to have to show something in wolf, like willingness to untransform block yeah. or even backdash on uh, Clem's wake up. Right, and I think going in wolf backdash, coming back in would beat the DP. I'm not sure about that, but I feel like it's an option you would have. That it's said, it would use a lot of wolf meat. Yes. But I mean, you have to you have to display yeah, an yeah. option to even to prove you're willing to do otherwise, it. Otherwise, I mean, I'll just DP every time if you're in wolf. Okay. It, if you are. You cannot cripple yourself by just saying, I will not do this option ever. Right. The other thing, though, is, I mean, he clearly has a Valk. He clearly plays Valk, but I don't know how much he's played him in match. Maybe he doesn't know... Like, maybe not. he doesn't have the Valk experience against Asriel to know that option. That makes sense. Valk, surprisingly, uh... Not as uh, prevalent in this version. No, he's not. Uh, he, he had a few nerfs. He gained a uh, human overhead. But uh, mainly, they just changed a lot of his routes and like how he functioned. And so like he's not really comfortable to most old players about. There's a few people who are still playing him. Yes. Uh, I think Jonah in SoCal still is, but he's yes. also playing Asriel now. <laughs> Two very good players. Yeah. And the overdrive confirmed, this should be it. Klim, at the end of that, really could tell that he was not comfortable with just Asriel's left-right dash things. Yeah. It's the kind of thing where I'm willing to bet Mystic's just not that confident in... Uh, Mystic's not that confident in the Azrael matchup. Yeah. Um, and that's probably also why he has the counter pick. Yes. Because uh, I do believe that, well, at least in the previous version, Azrael Valk was fairly Valk favor. Yeah. So uh, we've been having a lot of matches. I wonder... I feel like we should be getting pretty far in these pools. We should be. Oh, we got Armando coming up next. Ooh. The Arm versus Ishii. This should be a good match. Oh my goodness. Arm playing uh, Asriel in this, and Ishii playing uh, Amane. Yes. And Amane did get a lot better in this version. I don't know the specific changes because no one plays no Amane. No one plays Amane. <laughs> it's pretty much... It's. I know two Amane players, and it's Ishii and Hellfire in Colorado. Yeah, I know... Amane has uh, a couple new moves that help for his combo routes. Okay. And he, mainly she, just a he, bunch of quality of life changes. Is he entering his one punch Amane? <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, I so mean, that. that no it's got the damage now, which I would imagine is a thing. It, it, it's, it's a little pretty apt because uh, Amane is a very fun character in that blocking is not always the best option. No, she has a lot of pressure and will drain your barrier or chip, do a lot of chip. The, the biggest thing is watch. Oh, Arm is playing Rachel. Oh, right. That is very important. I did see he, he was playing Rachel yesterday. I yes. forgot about that. So, uh, Rachel. So, again, two characters we haven't seen. So, real quick, Amane has these drill levels. Yeah. The more that they are powered up, the more chip damage they do, and the better they are on block. Uh, Meanwhile, Rachel has a wind meter where. Her drive button just does wind in a direction, which will be noted by lines on the screen. So she was, I think, designed as a zoner, but uh, wind sort of made her able to do she, everything. She still is a zoner in a lot of regards. Like, she can play a very strong full screen game. Yes. But what she can do is shoot the wind and get a hit, and because of the wind, fly in like that when she gets a hit. And yeah, confirm instantly offense. confirm. Yes, very important to note. Otherwise, yes, her, her buttons are not the best. She will want to keep you out, but here come the drills. And she and also wins fly out. away like She that. has some of the best mobility in the game. They also did a, a big buff to her wind meter, where I believe the lower it is, the faster it recharges. Wow. That's very so good yeah, to know. It will recharge quite fast now. And uh, I, I think Rachel is my favorite zoner that uh, says she does 3K and really does 6K. Right. The other issue, so she used to have a pumpkin um, that could be controlled by the wind. And they got rid of that. Instead, she now has uh, bats. With that shoot shootout. Uh, it's a little like coffin and drops back, and those will attach to you, and they're a poison. They'll do damage over time. And they, they, the more important thing is they do a lot more damage if wind is active. Yes. So they will do more damage if wind. So a lot of her combos will involve put down the, the coffin, on you, zap you, you yeah. wind up, wind up, and that will do a lot of damage that is not seen on the combo like display that shows how much damage you do. So like the combo from all the hits will do, you know. 3,000 damage, but then the bats do an extra 3,000 damage. What a confirm! Wow. That was, so, Amane has uh, his robe that he throws out for most of his C moves. Yeah. And, ooh, sweep, overdrive, tries for the confirm. But either way, gets a lot of drill meter for right. that. I think that's a fine, like, that's a fine overdrive yeah. for that. 
Try the, to get in front of him, gets the drill. The big thing is... uh get it back pretty quick. <laughs> his road route moves on whiff are really, really awkward and bad recovery. But on hit, if you guess like their position right, you can get real nasty confirms from them. However, meanwhile, Rachel coming in, instant overhead. You really have to watch out for that. With wind, she can move herself down, so her jump arc is so much lower. And like you were starting to say before, like she is his own, but she gets him in the corner. Her pressure is relentless. Yes, yes. And a lot of that's because of the wind. She can just wind up instant overhead, and so she'll do you know three instant overheads in a row into a low. And you gotta you know for like six hits in a row. You know you have to figure out if it's gonna be high or low. As she's navigation of neutral has been really amazing though, honestly. Yeah, she's playing very well. I, th I think one big aspect of that is uh, Amani's command hop, where it can almost function as a third-ish jump. It, and he can do it either forwards or backwards and use moves out of it. But it's definitely, uh, yeah, right there. The little sparkles, a nice little like angle to just get over some, uh, some projectiles that other characters would not be able to. Overdrive guard cancel. I love Rachel's overdrive where the cat flexes. <laughs> Wait, honestly, Rachel's aesthetic is just really good. Her, the cats and the bat as her uh, familiars, and just how like lazy and relaxed she is about everything. I love the George the fog. Like, I'm not a fan Shut of the uh, the Gothic Lolita. Um, it's not your style, personally, but it fits the character well, and just like yeah, her attitude works very well. Like, it yeah, all fits the character. You're all right. King George the Thirteen is very important. Yeah. We don't know history of facts, he was actually a fox. I think uh, one thing we also forgot to mention, just because it's been in every version for Rachel, is uh, she throws out these little pumpkin cannons, and then they make these towers, these lightning rods. Yeah. And she can call lightning down to them at any moment. So not only... Or so her one now, she can turn them into the bats as well. Yes. And when a bat is on you, wind affects you more in a, a certain direction. There are two different types of bats, I believe. Right. It also has a hit when the bats first hit you, which yes. can be nice for her to get in. So her zoning game is not only about throwing out those pumpkins and then using wind to make them hit areas. There's layers after the fact. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Level one. Action. So, I mean, despite everything, Amane... As he really couldn't get his game started. He, he got a lot of like stray hits, but they never like led into a full knockdown. Oh, spoke too soon. Here's a there full knockdown. The, the biggest thing is just lie, yeah. yeah. Use the drill to keep him in place. And keeping Rachel in one place is so hard. Yeah, but if you can do it, it's really important. And that's well, that's a good overdrive. Cat chair, three C does have a guard point on it. Yep. Wow, good mix up by Ichi. Finally gets the hit. Rapid, I imagine. Ooh. And can he? No, cannot confirm that for that. But good blocking by arm as well. His defense has actually been really well. Also, I think that's new. The uh, projectile invuln on Am Amane's stance. I believe that. And I think that is actually one of the big changes that allows Amane to deal with zoner characters like new Rachel. But uh, it doesn't matter if you get punched by a cat. True story. Big counter hit. Not, not the biggest confirm. But the corner push was very important. There, the whirlwind there is uh, Amane's new move. Yeah. I believe it's safe on block, but not plus on block. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't actually seen it before. So. Hey, I, I think what it is it change it with drill levels, because of course everything has to change with drill levels. Okay. I think the biggest thing is Amani actually really just hasn't been able to get drill levels past level one. And if if Amani can't do that, it's honestly it seems like a struggle. True. Um, it's interesting time because she has to use the drill in order to get the drill level. And in order to use it most of the time, he has to make Rachel block them. The, oh. the biggest thing is uh, you want to get them to block a 6D, which is the spinning top. And that one levels Amani's drill meter up super fast. Right. 
but just getting her to, getting Rachel in the right spot. Two block like there, the wind tech. He really wanted to do it to try and get the drill levels, but wind tech allows Rachel to tech at angles that normal characters cannot. Fly, fly basically with the wind so she can fly out of a lot of situations. Rachel, if you haven't training mode, like how to get Oki against Rachel, it's it's really a struggle. Not easy, yeah. Rachel is a really weird character because of the wind, and not one that's easy to fight against, especially if you don't know. Some characters... Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> that grab is there unblockable. You know, Blaze lose the game because you, know, you, you generally need to know the matchup against most characters. There's a couple you can get away with faking, but it's not many. All right, and she's really gonna make something happen, but making something happen during Rachel's overdrive is so hard. Hits her during the startup. Oh, that's huge. She can confirm off that. Oh. That was a really hard hit to confirm yeah. off of, but was able to get the scramble situation yeah. afterwards. Arm taking the game, taking the whole set. Oh, um, Breaker Dave. Slowly wandering up to the stage. Uh, he realizes he, he has, has to, to go, go get the Jubei his Jubei plush. Shout out to the Jubei plush. Hey man, he's a hero. Yeah. He saved the world. And if you fight with knowing that knowledge in your heart, you will be strong. You'll find the strength to defeat Rachel. So this is an interesting uh, thing here. <laughs> As Breaker Day versus, I'm not sure who this Rachel Todd's player is, but you know, I feel like like Rachel would have some harsh words for Breaker Day for not playing her in this version. It's like, true, and I have to I have to wonder, are they going to play Rachel? I would hope because if you know, they, a don't, lot of times they don't, they don't. There was a Sujikawa who cosplayed Rachel and then it's played true. Tokonoe. It's so true. It, th they can hit you with the mix-up, yeah. but like. If you cosplay a character and you play that character, that character is actually stronger. Often, yeah. That, it's that is fact. It's true. True story. Because your heart is one with the character. Because, yeah. I mean, I, all right, Break of Dave, you can have your Jubei plush. I am, Rachel. We're about to find out. Easy, no, oi. The mix-up. But it's a good mix-up, honestly. Yeah. Easy, oi is a really strong Speaking character. mix-up. <laughs> Izioi, I think yeah. uh, SKD's little uh, vignettes of Izioi training Ezioi mode yeah, has SKD really SKD made the rounds. Some really crazy stuff. And, and the biggest thing is just like any of that. her makeup looks so dirty. Oh, constantly is a very strong character at neutral mixup and pressure. And we're really gonna have to see how if uh, Milk Kaicho is able to handle Breaker Dave's uh, Breaker Dave's bugs. Overdrive through that, oh. but it doesn't matter because of the bug. He might be able to yes through some of this. Probably should have done it there. So the big thing is that two oh. is not safe. That was a really good block. Crap. Whoa. That was the best navigation of Curse really I've was. seen yeah. yet. And he's at full stock. So he can go in with the uh, Orgeal mode? I don't know what Trans -am. Trans Am. Something like that. Ooh, empty low. Break Dave with the dirty stuff. Gets the curse, gets the combo. Right. He's going to, yeah, yeah going to drop her back down, and cross up for the blast reset. Dead. I I guess he went for the full combo there. And maybe it's just familiarity. Uh, but I guess, you know, in theory, Milk could have first. He, he probably could have confirmed into super. But I don't know how Akune's combo arrives that well, especially in curse. So. It, it's also like, if you're ever not too sure about it, if you feel like the matchup might be too hard to win, please save the burst. You do have another round. Absolutely. And I, I think not bursting there was the correct choice. Yes. But... Ooh. And there. That is the very, like, weird angle that Izuoi gets in this new mode from her air dash, which right. allows her to do really low to the ground overheads, and then she can either do dash into another one or low. Very low health when he has a game. I, I don't know if I agree with that, but well, he I mean, the curse if he wins. Does the super... No, doesn't block after. I don't... I imagine he could. Most install moves in the game are safe. I, I so don't know the frames on that one, so I cannot say. I can't say for sure. I just know in general, most times I've seen an install move, it's been safe. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I know Bang. Uh, he might have tried to like DP and just miss input it. Bang old two and Kazan was also plus one. Yeah, but that move like two C's not a safe move. He could have blocked it and yes, punished. Yes. Wow, just like that. Couple spiders dropped on the noggin, and now you're cursed. Overdrive. Have to block the bugs. Exceed itself. Still. Gets the hit. Yeah, Milk definitely has the best navigation to curse right. out of everyone I've seen he thus far. And like, okay, you might get back into it, but uh, you're really gonna have to make this one count breaker, Dave. I mean, this will be like 2k plus knockdown. Mm, there you go. No rolling out. All right. This is next mix up. Overhead. And I was gonna say. <laughs> You cannot take your time in this one. That overhead is an amazing starter. Rapid. Guard. Oh, he knew he was going to be it, so he just guard canceled early. But JB. I think the guard cancel was a good choice, but, you know. It, it's really good, because, like, normally a lot of characters will do that, where they do a really unsafe move and then rapid afterwards yeah. and, like, immediately press a button just to keep pressure. And so if you're extremely confident that they're going to do that, you can make them waste their 50 meter by guard canceling at the very end of it. True. And if it's a slow enough move, it will also guard cancel successfully if they just let it recover naturally. True, you don't get a full punish on it, but in a moment like that, when everything's on the line, sometimes you just have to make that decision. Yeah. I think that's important that, like, you make a decision in a situation like that. You know, you may not have made the right one, but you made a choice. Yeah. So the early start of that, Milk was just generating stocks yeah. for this combo. Yeah, so Going every time he shoots that projectile, he gets a stock. I, I think it's on block on or block hit. Yeah. yeah. And again, back to the curse. Which bug's your favorite bug? Uh, I, I mean, my personal favorite bug is Party Bug. Uh, the one that's not in the curse that shoots the, the Bell Bug. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he arrives and he gets the party started. He yep. invites all his that, friends. That was the original joke there. Was yeah, like he starts the party. Honestly, Spider's growing on me. I, he's not necessarily a bug, but like no, Spider's pretty good. He, he's hanging with the squad now. Like he's really doing his. his <laughs> That's gonna hit. No. Oh wow. Because like honestly, Seabug, Seabug's a jerk. Seabug comes out. He bites you. He guard breaks you. Debug is there to make everything I, work. I like Debug a lot too, yeah. actually. He's I just, feel like Debug's just the homie. Like yeah, he he, he's work. really underrated, honestly. And no good blocking the overhead, gets the overdrive, to not have to deal with anymore. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of damage for just that one was. projectile hit. Was, he uh, shot three projectiles. It is true, yes. So I, mean, I think it's overdrive, it's five actually, so oh, wow. that would okay. explain it. Why are you using the spider to punish that? I don't know if it's actually a punishment if the spider was out sooner. So it might have been a very bad time to shoot the projectile. Either, either way, but it was still pretty spider cool. started it, and yeah. it, I mean, milk on the, yeah. his match, or, excuse me, break dive on his match point, and very this should blocking, be a but curse. It's going to get cursed? No, yes. Yes. It, it is wow, a curse. That was, uh, that's death! <laughs> wow, wow. B-Bug! Very good, Abe. Is Prince Dave's Arcuna is so good right now. Yeah, incredibly so. I, I can't believe that combo had good enough duration to just keep yeah. going. Honestly, like a lot of times you get the combo into curse and it ends pretty quickly after. But I, I, I so I'm pretty sure Breaker Dave is going. He's making a strong argument that he's making top 16. Probably oh yeah, top eight. I would see him top eight. I think Breaker Dave has a strong. I mean, he won the team tournament last night. He has a he's strong. Have to watch out for yeah. Breaker Dave to win this tournament. And then I think my favorite thing. He's just so chill about it. He walks up. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I did that. That's cool." Yeah, yeah man. I he's like a really good. Cool. Yeah, honestly, Breaker Dave is one of my favorite SoCal people. Just he's, he's a, a really, really cool guy. guy. I really enjoy hanging out with him. He's he's, he's really chill. Like yes, he's just yes. a chill dude. so good to see all these faces it and is. names. Love it, coming out, seeing it, friends, making new friends. It, it felt, you've That's only ever seen like Twitter names and yeah. you only know th people through the internet. 
it's super easy to come up to people and be like, hey, I'm blah on the internet. Right. And I've met at least four to five new people just right. who've done that and be like, right. I recognize you. Right. Like, I know oh, your yeah, name. I know you from Twitter. Yeah, like, I know your Twitter. Right. I, yeah. I'm in your Discord. Right. I played you on PSN. It's such a connected world in right. this fighting game community right now that it's so easy to make friends without ever meeting someone. And, and then when you're here, yeah. you're just like, Hey. And you can't be afraid to you know, go up to someone who you recognize like, from the internet and be it, like, oh, it hey, can be tough. You know, it, can, it, it can be hard just meeting new people, scared, but, like, but no one here is going to bite your head off for bad. doing and so. And even if you know, they don't say, for some reason, they don't recognize your name, they're not going to be like, you know, who are you? No one's going to turn you away. <laughs> Excuse you. Right. I'm a top Blaze Blue player. I don't have time for yeah. this. Where's my <laughs> VIP room? <laughs> I mean, uh, who needs a VIP room with beds like this? Right? <laughs> we got air conditioning in here. Very important. Yeah. Because I mean, I guns away on the bed. here, do you want to scoot over? Oh, yeah, let's. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh. Let me just uh, yeah. pull this up. <laughs> there we go. All right, perfect. All right. How's it going, Mike? It's going really good, honestly. Yeah, that's really. This is actually really comfy. Wow. Yeah. I am surprised. All right. Welcome, welcome to the new commentary. So we uh, have, gentlemen, if if you host tournaments, please t take a note. <laughs> I like this. I like the bed. Dot Nova Digiops. Dot Nova Digiops. Should be good. So, uh, uh, yeah, the, I think the biggest thing is Dot Nova is going to make sure that he's going to rush down as hard as possible and not give her any time to set up her game. That's a big one. They both, honestly, again, they're both really offensive characters, but Dot Nova does have the DP that could be really important here. Yeah, I, I think Izanami is a bit more of a, like, I want to get into my good mode and then go in once I have, like, you blocking something. So, oh, oh, yeah, Ram. Yeah, right. So now she's got her mode. Now she's got these like float cancels. Oh wow! Uses the snowflake, a new move in this yeah. one, to block the projectile. That was actually really smart. And Dot Nova now has active flow, and that'll end the round. Yeah. I really like that new snowflake because it used to just be a big ice sword and wasn't really seen too often. Yeah. But this I one. It was. It was so. That's the D, uh... The, the, the ice projectile, yeah. yes. So, originally it was three ice swords. Yes. And that was really cool, and they changed it to a big one in CP. And now it's a snowflake, and I think the snowflake's actually the coolest one. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it just... If you put it on them in pressure, it's like a, hey, it's my turn, by the way. And even new innovative uses like that, where it's like a shield at neutral. And it lasts for like eight seconds or so. It's really long. Meanwhile... A couple of awkward hits and an awkward drop leads to a Digi getting out of the corner. Good DP doesn't happen it for the combo though. It might have been on like the edge of killing, so maybe he wants to save his meter for the uh, mix-ups. Possibly. But that was an amazing air grab. And, oh wow! <laughs> if he got that so, air grab, I think he could have asked off that. Yeah, and also you can and tell. Oh, that, that was so that smart! Was so oh, she can't block when she mode changes, and he was just like, hey. Eat yep. this ice wave. Yep, it's really fast. Yeah, I, I really like watch, and you know when someone's a Guilty Gear player, when they go for the really high air grab, they're just like, hey, <laughs> right. I'll track you down way up here. The wheel of fate is turning. But yeah, it looks like Don Nova's super comfortable in this matchup, because he is, he is showing some tech that other people have not shown at a level currently. Well, that was really scary for DigiOps, but really good, really good crouching under the instant dash. Did you have finally able to get his game started? Honestly, see what he does here. I really love oh, that. Goes for the purple throw. <laughs> Went for the TRM setup. So I actually really, I unironically un love Izanami combos, if only for the like blue meteor at the end of it. <laughs> but not Nova getting his TRM. Yeah, no, it's, they actually look really cool. And like the super, Izanami's just like a scary looking character. Yeah, like, they did. She is, she is classic anime villain. They did a, such a great job of just design in this right. game. Everything feels good and everything looks nice. Right. You know, this game is like, I've seen people who are just watching me like, I kind of want to play just because it like looks really flashy. Oh. And I want to do the cool stuff. And here, once she has a super right. run, Tot is just like running the heck away. Right, and that's smart. The second, the second she deactivated, he DP'd. And that's going to kill. In yes. Overdrive. Absolutely. Overdrive. Dot Nova has such good presence of mind. He really does. You can like, see he knows. I mean, he's obviously familiar with Jin, so maybe he's been playing longer than I thought. 
Yeah. And like we've been seeing, he he yeah. has those uh, earlier. He showed a lot more like overdrive confirms. Yeah. And that one he even he probably wasn't playing. He was like, wait, I can just kill overdrive. Boom, super. Absolutely. And it's also good. You just see, you can tell he's been playing fighting games for a while. Yeah. Oh, that overhead's so sneaky. Did he have getting his game going? Combo done. God, that hurts. That is a combo. Puts the, puts the mode on. Puts Gets the command, command grab. grab. No, that's it. a combo, though. Didn't Doesn't matter. In the oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Not like this. Okay. Oh, uh, I like it. Not teching. Yeah. Just so... So I think Dot wanted to delay that just a bit longer so that the combo would reset. Because the big thing is so. if someone delays their tech for long enough, the combo will just drop off and you can pick them up off the ground into a fully right. new combo. And if if they do not tech, you can also just extend your combo like that. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> the there you go, he looked for the TRM again. He, he got him twice, so I mean, I can't blame him for it. Woo! A little bit closer, you might as well confirm that. Oh, there we go. There we go. And that time... Did, did you? Defense. So, it's interesting there, because you could see uh, Dot Nova went for you know, the TRM there, so he was like, oh, he caught on. Yeah. He's Switch not back. going for you know, it again. But Digiops was ready for it. I, I think that's another thing. I'm wondering now if Digiop is changing like it, how he's teching. Because uh, if you... Oh, oh, but again, he's so good with that with ice wave. That. So many Izanamis think they're safe after a burst to just change the mode. Right. You're saying you got to be careful full screen. You can't just you can't just do that. But uh, yeah, because I'm wondering if later he started going to normal like hard teching because that actually gives you more frames to tech throw. If you use the OF OS, excuse Possibly. me, you have half as many frames. You might have just been looking for tech. the throw there. Yeah. Especially after like two or two RMs, that definitely is going to feel bad, and yeah. you're going to know you have to change something in your gameplay. So yeah, I'm seeing a whole lot of like the familiar names and faces just uh, really congregate at the front. So I imagine we're probably getting probably in close getting to close. all the end of these pools. I so see, I see uh, Mystic I see slowly Mystic. walking up. up. Oh, is this Mystic versus Dot Nova? It, it seems like it. Dot Nova's right. not done. All right, this, sh this should also be good. So I now, the question of the day is, who <laughs> will Mystic, Mystic play? Yep. I, uh, I'm hoping Arakune. I feel like you would play Arakune yeah. in this one. I mean, yeah, we, we know he's got at least two characters in the bag. Arakune versus uh, Izanami. Yeah. He showed that. Or, me, no, this is Jin. I'm backwards one right now. Yeah. So, versus Jin. But Arakune versus Jin, I think, is still a straightforward match enough for Arakune that he's comfortable with it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see but it really depends what Mystic yeah. feels. There we go. I think it's a good choice. I think, honestly, in this version, especially, it's a better choice than Valve. It's, I mean, I, it, it's debatable, but... I think in this matchup, it's In this better. matchup, it's better, number one, because Jin also has uh, historically been, like, fine with Valve, honestly. True. He has the... He's so solid in all his areas, he has the ways to deal with Valve. Yeah. And you can see against Clem uh, that, you know, his Valk was getting kind of blown up by the DP. Yeah. And Jin has DP options for days. I, I believe they're like some OS's, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Right now we're doing Arakuni versus Jin, and the cloud is on him already. Half curse. The cloud. The throw. The cloud. Very important in how it functions. You, the combo is too high. Every second the cloud is on you, every frame the cloud is on you, you are gaining curse meter. Oh wow! They changed that then. Yes. It, so like that half right there, that's all from that cloud. Wow, that is. <laughs> However, that is if you can never play neutral, never get your hit. <laughs> what? What? Good is half a curse meter. Rapid. Yeah, that's gonna kill. That Nova looking strong. Yeah, it's. I, I hope Mystic doesn't think his character choice was a bad choice. Because I think if he still gets a hit, it should be fine. Right. Yeah, here we go. Okay, that goes into the bug. Don Nova is also just like much more aggressive against his Arakune, whereas like other characters are giving him a lot of space. It's what you want to do against Arakune though, because he does not have a good reversal option outside of um, uh, Exceed itself. And honestly, that's part of what makes him so good in this game is he has a good reversal, reversal option. option because of Exceed itself. Right. Oh, just a hair out of curse. Overdrive, oh, overdrive instantly right, activating whatever curse. curse he does have. Low gets him though. 
Yeah, so like if you get almost good enough with our Kune and you have overdrive, you can just be like, hey, I'm done playing neutral. You're cursed. Yeah, that's that's scary. The curse is over. Woo! I don't know who was that. Well. He, he really the likes Gopher. to do it. Ooh, is he can combo off this close enough to the corner. Doesn't get enough, much, but the there. knocked out but is gets important. The throw into, oh, just oh, overdrive. Gee. Just the overdrive. I was expecting a super overdrive, the same thing, really. <laughs> Either way, as long as it gets the job done and yep. doesn't allow them yeah. to make any choices whatsoever on bursting the big, or not. Yeah, the big one there was stopping the burst. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're having a good laugh about it. Yeah, having a good That's time. the best thing. Like, when people are playing and they're, like, able to talk and laugh Everyone's after a match. Fun, yeah. You gotta be careful with that, though, because sometimes you start talking you lose your focus. Mm. It depends on the player. But I know I've seen it happen with players before. I believe it. Di different types... Different types of people have different ways of just going in between matches. Some people like they're like dead silence. Yeah. Ooh, big burst. That would have led to curse, so cannot fault him for it. But yeah, look at this cloud. Look at that curse meter. Oh it's God. just going up so TRM, quick. TRM, though. God, nobody's been on point with this TRM Yeah. Setup. If he falls into this cloud, though... He could okay. be cursed, but if he gets the pressure going, it might not even matter. Get the throw again. Honestly, Donovan's grab game is one of the strongest really I've good. seen thus far of any competitor. I think it might be the strongest I've seen, at least here. Ooh. Everyone always forgets until he has 50 meter. It's such a subtle overhead, too. He really just slides is. up, throws that hilt. Yeah. Oosh. Wow. It's a lot you think, but like it doesn't matter unless he has the 50 meter because yeah. he can't combo off it. Yes. But Mystic getting the curse. There we go. But it doesn't matter if he's getting hit. Loses a lot of curse for this. This he's is really big. Good. And he's going to be in pressure. He, this curse might not even matter. No, oh, there it goes. Okay. There, oh. The bugs are coming. At the very least, it got him under pressure. It's not as big as it is one, but I mean, you have to take what you can get, I guess. And the interesting thing there is, like, after curse, he's locked out of curse. What? Well, he wrapped it to try and combo and it just reset. There it goes. Gets the full curse. Ooh. Oh, that is such a bad feeling. When they throw tech, it whips, but your instinct is still just throw tech back. And then you get punished. You for anticipate it. the throw. So you both throw, but it whips. Overdrive. This is still a Wow! wow. He crossed himself up there. That was oh. incredible. So I think what happened was Mystic crossed up uh, KB and got the ice and so we got the ice arrows. Oh, so he was doing a different input. I think he was doing the uh, the slash, the X slash. The oh, arrows. interesting. So he got the ice arrows, but because it crossed Mystic up, he wasn't ready for that and got hit. I either don't way, know if that's true, either way, it was a really stylish. Act. It was really cool. You, that's always so. I do know you have to be really careful if your character can cross up or crosses up a lot. Yeah. You have to know what like common buttons they're going to be pressing because sometimes like uh, some characters have like overheads with low low crush and they can go over what button you press on your cross up. So you just have to be aware like if I cross them up, will this get them a super? Will this get them a DP even? So just knowing what will happen is super important. I agree. Remember kids, Take it to training mode at least once in a while. Yeah. I am terrible at training mode personally, but, you know... You have to... I mean, some people learn different ways, uh, and uh, that's fine. Some people can training mode for 10 hours. Some people can training mode for 10 minutes. But just make sure you're yeah. using all the options you have available you, you to learn... You need to training mode your, some. Yes, yes. All right, break of day of uh, meandering back up. Will he keep coming? Nah, sitting down. sitting down. All right. I don't know what we got going on now. We'll see. He, he fooled us. Back is here talking. If you are now just joining us, thank you for watching. Thank you if you've been watching. Shout outs to all of our sponsors here at CEO Taku. Shout outs to everyone who helped make this happen. Shout outs to Jabaley and Rick. Rick the Hatto. This has been a great event so far. I'm oh really God. glad to be here. The, this one is a go to. Like, it's happened twice. Right. It's already on my list of like must go to's. Every I, year. I was here last year and I was, I was a little sketchy about coming out this year, but I'm really glad I was able to make it. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's only going to get better. Honestly, me too. I'm very glad you were able to make it too. Yeah. It's been a good time. Um, so we'll see if we got another match coming up soon.